Lee Chess titled arena March. A 960 arena. Okay, first opponent, former player. The doctor should have lost this game here. Oh, it was a. I remember it. The doctor was up a rook. Okay, this is a, this is looking pretty normalish, at least on the the queen side here. Kicking off with the f pawn, playing it like it's a, I guess a Dutch. Makes sense for the knight for the rook. Bishop, bishop and queen's eyes are pointing at these two. I imagine both the knights will end up on these two squares. Considering what to do with this guy, can't go here. There's queen takes pawn, so. Symmetrical so far. Where will play deviate? There it is. Okay, so this is a big gap, but there are two black pieces that are supporting this advance. All right, that's shot down. So we're back in uh, symmetrical territory. This knight may want to go elsewhere. Yeah. Knight e6, so this bishop's eyes stay opened, so it is, it is a little bit different, the decision with both knights here. Is it okay to allow knight takes knight? Okay, he's taking out the knight. Giving up the bishop for knight, it is a static position. Considering an in-between move right now is white. Can you get away with this? Bishop takes pawn, pawn here, bishop takes knight? Mm -hmm. he's running the numbers on that one otherwise I, I don't think you'd be thinking that long about which of these two to go with I think he was calculating bishop takes pawn there so in the end a strong knight on e4 for team black this is a strong pawn for white may have similar soon if this guy is intoler intolerable where does this bishop go maybe right here or is it necessary to support the pawn on d5? Huge time difference after just these seven moves. Take towards the center. Or is there a reason to do this, to have uh, an open line for the bishop? Black would want to make sure this pawn doesn't get too crazy. There is a cost if a push right now. He's still going for it. I guess looking for some activity on the dark squares now. Rapid development, hitting the knight. The queen could take up a strong post on e4. Check that d4. Where does the knight go? Yeah, these dark squares could... Yeah, this could be a problem, right? Queen coming out, knight coming out, pressure on c7. Opposite color bishops. Slight lead in development. The rook will soon occupy this file. With one move, right? Queenside castles. Yeah, queenside castles, the white rook would end up on d1 biggest thing so far this move 10 for carlson punch at b2 conveniently defended so the knight not even giving this pawn an opportunity to move here maybe expand you probably want to trade that queen it's not easy to do that though there's always this move okay fienketo okay now ready to queenside castle black is up a pawn and it seems like it's a controlled position. Queenside castles it is. Call it 30 seconds apiece. Well, there's some space here. Given time will go like that. Both players are aware of knights jumping into c4 or c5. This is ruled out with the b pawns. Tough to call. It's definitely a strong post for the queen. Some space for white. What to do from here? Okay, serious pressure on d5. A lot of attention. All pieces basically focused there. Some pressure on c7 now. Coordination between queen and bishop. Under 20 for Carlson. Queen finally takes a step. No bishop here anymore. The knight returns. The queen has to find a new square. She's short on squares. Queen exchange. Queen here. You could have kicked her again. All right, rook is defended. This was maybe a threat, taking advantage of some pin. 
they will be living off of the increment bishop takes now it's definitely better for team black it's clear no problem with king safety the pawn will move box out the knight and the king will have an easier time moving forward undermining the pawns now knight to g4 king is pinned tied down to d uh, e3 hmm can you break it down further if the knight moves this oh yeah now now this is hitting right why is that move not played much sooner oh because of that check that's why <laughs> white would get the pawn right back you probably want to avoid opposite color bishop ending so you got to save the knight now it's trading knights <laughs> what a fancy move let me just let me insert that check first i guess it was also aimed at preventing the king from uh, inching up maybe a little bit too soon. Oh, could win this, right? Bishop right here. Watch over the queening square and this. Is he fast enough? I think he's going to be fast enough. Oh, it doesn't matter. He dropped on time again. Whoa, what a start to this tournament. <laughs> okay, International Master Lovelace against the Doctor. Okay, what kind of setup are we working with here? Not too bad here on the king side. I guess we still call this the king side. Playing it like it's a Scandinavian with a messed up queen side. <laughs> All right. Not really a better spot for the knight, is there? This position is already opened up, so rapid development. And we have just that queen side castles. I imagine the knight will be the one to recapture. This is the uh, better improvement than rook takes. Just asking for development with tempo if you take with the rook. So where to go from here? Knight most likely here. Is there some other move maybe considering a setup like this? I don't know about that. This seems like it would be a good reply. Looking to maybe Fianchetto? This is an interesting think. Just going conservative. Solid, opening up the bishop's eyes. And now what? Controlling the knight. So this guy's going to go elsewhere. All right. And this guy has a lot of options still. Maybe work on the knight. Maybe expand with the h-pawn. This knight could be kicked at any moment. So if the knight goes here, this could be a little bit annoying. Actually, this here, knight here, the bishop can get trapped. So, actually, isn't this a winning move? No, the knight would have to go here. Hmm. Okay, there is a new square for a knight. It seemed like this move could have uh, caused these two a little bit of a problem. Maybe get trapped, maybe end up in a fork. I like white's position. Seems very solid. I like having the fourth rank pawn versus the third rank pawn. There's something to bite at. Maybe ensuing pressure with the bishop. Remain solid. This is a nice jumping point for the knight. May want to rule that out. All right. Let's see. Okay, so here we go right here. Is this a good in-betweener? No, not... Oh, he's, he's going for it, though. He's allowing this fork? I think he missed that. That's, this knight could go into Pac-Man mode. Maybe he was just seeing that this pawn targets these is this knight going to get trapped at the end ah he just takes this one he's ready to take the bishop he's coming out ahead here big time white resigns miscalculation a little bit too fast pulling the trigger on c5 okay where do we stand we have a couple eights in there so two guys with a few games in flawless the doctor has four pairing now against the boss International Master. Okay. Oh, these bishops are awkward. For sure. How do we start here? Open up the queen's eyes. Immediately. Now, going with this, if there was ever a bishop here, that would definitely make me think twice about moving this pawn. So going with a knight first. I think you will be seeing... Uh, f6 to open up the bishop's eyes and control the knight this is under control maybe maybe you could do with this 
if uh, white is preparing to get an e4, if there's enough support for it. It's creating a lot of room over here for the queen with these advances. This is prepped, so it is stopped. Don't want to see a pawn duo because before you know it, that duo can be converted into some space advantage. Pieces start getting kicked around. So it's stopped before it's even there. C5, rook takes. This, a lot of work would be necessary for the bishop to even see c5. And what to do from here? Not a fun square for the knight. Not ideal, but it stays out of the bishop's way. Stays out of the center pawn's way. The bishop needs to move before kingside castles. Okay, here we go. Some coordination between queen and bishop. The white queen, notice, is not yet playing. This is an open position. It's not a good sign if the queen is still stuck in the corner. Call it just uh, a useless queen. Not even a legal move. Okay, now there is. White's ready, or excuse me, black's ready to now castle. We have that. I like black's position here. B4. Okay, this does open up quite a bit. I like that b4 move. This is a solid structure. A jumping point on c4, possibly. This one pawn restricts these two. This extra pawn, you know, in the center, it's not yet contributing. Hmm. Okay. Wow, that's a really big decision, huh? Shutting down the bishop, allowing some structural damage on the king's side. Bishop takes knight being considered. If this queen could somehow get over here, right? This would be a little crazy to do something like this if the queen was, the white queen was over here. Knight g5, looking for the queen h7 stuff. This is opening up a new square for the knight. This knight can't go too far. There is this pressure against g2, under 40 for white. Who? big decision. I imagine we will have a capture. I was thinking take on Passan, but that is dropping a pawn, isn't it? Oh, black, black does have three pieces on it. Only two defending, e4, under 30. Double the time for the doctor. Huge position for Team Black now. Bishop is out of play. Queen is nice and central. Black is up a pawn. What more do you want? And slow, steady progress from here, advancing the pawns. Everything is under control. There's not a good check. These are covered. They continue to march. This bishop is still cooked. Don't let this pawn get too far. Are you prepared to move this knight? I would drop the pawn. You're ready to kick the knight and then crash through here. Something more forceful. This does give up a square to the knight. Maybe kick the knight and then take here. Here, here, takes, takes. We're having this line. Maybe. Who's going to budge? Okay, the knight hops in the center. This is covered. The bishop is still having a tough time, and for as long as it remains here, there isn't a flight square yet for Team White. This is a problem. Okay, now this is getting cracked open. The king is vulnerable. Everything is hit. G2, H5, you could simplify. I imagine the queen's going to try to slip into H4, pick off this pawn with check. Stay central. Open file. Consolidate. There's a pin. Can't go here. This is covered. Oh, I think he's getting this pawn back. That was a miss. Let him back in the ball game. Okay, now he could take here. Why didn't the king come over here? I think he should have. Oh, he's pushing through. Where is he? His rook is there in time to defend. This is this is not a win. You can't take here, but the rook I think just stays on this file. Only one second. Oh, he it is it is a win. Excuse me, because of the rook getting over here. It is a win. He's down on time, but this was a win for Black. Rook right here and push. Okay, missed that. Not the only thing 
I've missed. Okay, and with that, whoa, TGK59. Slow down. 17, 12, a bunch of eights. Top eight are flawless. Okay, NM opponent. Zellerex. It's ready to say this was a queen pawn opening. Okay, this is as normal as you're going to get, I guess, for chess 960. It's just the king and queen switcherude. Okay. Uh, so we'll just call it a queen pawn game. Yeah, queen. this is a queen pawn opening. <laughs> okay. Queen pawn opening. Queen side castle. The rook will be on d1. Okay. Control e4. Knight here. Bishop to one of these two. Knight here as a start, right? No. Wants the C pawn contributing. Okay, so when this knight drops in there, he's going to be a beast. That's what he's saying with this move. When the knight's there, he's a beast, and if he's taken, the C pawn will take, and I'll have some pressure one day against your C7 pawn. So, time well spent? Seems like it. It's not a, you know, you could afford to do that. Invest one tempo. Develop and defend the knight? I don't think the idea is to take the bishop. You could hunt the bishop here, but it, it isn't consistent with the c4 move. Okay, maybe now this and then takes because these would end up doubled and isolated. So this is maybe something. So you can react to that. He ducks. Kingside castles, no queenside castles here. Okay, where's this knight going to go? Seems like this is the best square. Why is the queen there? Carlson, why are you putting that queen there? He's going to move the queen somewhere else. Or just, yeah, he is going to move the queen somewhere else. The knight loves c3. Okay, knight c3, knight d5. Very good control over this position for white. Nice space advantage. I like this. Combating the knight. Where is their pawn break? Ooh, he's going hunting for the queen. He has f5 in mind as well for the knight. Taking towards the center and maybe there's play along the g-file. It's a committal move, but the queen is not having a tough... Is not having an easy time. Queen here, maybe this, and then here, so you could take with the g-pawn. Although, no, the queen would be, just be trapped. Let's say queen g5, knight f5, bishop takes, pawn takes, the queen is dead. Under 10. Gotta go. Queen h3. Asking for trouble. No matter where the queen goes, this is just too much control over here on the king side. Black understands this, tries to give up some material. He's getting two pawns for the piece, looking for a third pawn. He may get that, huh? There is check. Queen block you could take and then take here. Three pawns for the minor piece. Wasn't the... Whoa. Okay. Fancy way to exchange queens. Black is picking up in the process a fourth pawn. There may be some accident happening soon on g7. Is he calculating a rook takes right here? Knight f5. Okay, knight takes bishop, or knight g7 is in the air. Oh, the old lateral movement. Missed that. Maybe he's going to save it. Now, two pieces versus four pawns. Is that where we're at? A knight and a bishop versus four pawns? I think so. Oh, yeah, I have this as my... um. <laughs> this is my crutch. I'm just so used to counting the material all the time on the board. Anyhow, two knights versus four pawns in balance. Okay, if this pawn falls, these become weak. We have a check right here. Fork, the rook is a goner, and there's nothing exciting happening with the rook and bishop. Black resigns. Where do we stand here? First, 
has 20. Second, 17, the doctor's in there with 12. The top five, flawless. 21 now, TGK59, who are you? Some beast. We still have a lot of time remaining. Okay, and just as I say that, we have... The number one versus the number three, TGK59. Somebody dive into that profile, see who this who this player is. Okay, what do we do here? Do that. No, you do this. Tuck the knight behind the pawn. Yes. What's going to be the story for this cornered knight? Here and then here. Trying for this. This has to uh, catch your attention, though. Yes. Interfering once more. It's like in an earlier game, preventing the opponent from establishing a pawn duo. So nice control over this square. Killer fork lined up. Queen scoot over. Now the bishop will watch over that square. Some development. Black's going to do without playing with the e-pawn for the time being. Challenge this knight one way or the other. Oh, it's getting very sharp right now with this last move it's trying to one day kick this bishop away and yeah there can be a killer move very soon he's trying for that but you could pull the knight away get the knight here controlling the square how's black in a castle in order to castle king side you have to move these two in order to castle queen side you have to move these two What's he considering right here? Knight here, throwing a punch. A bishop move. Defending here. Yes. Okay. A queen move and you're ready to castle kingside. Meanwhile, this pawn is coming under fire. I don't know that you can save it. In the end, if, if white is getting this pawn back, white's going to be better. This pawn is ill. Half dead e7 pawn. Killer fork back on. White's in the driver's seat. Okay. Oh, this is defending and preparing queenside castles. Black king queenside castle. King would be here. Rook would be here. May go for that next or first exchange bishops. Now exchanging bishops and then queenside castle. There'd be queen takes pawn. Queenside castle drops a7. Can't do that. Shouldn't do that, I don't think. Maybe the queen steps up. No, the queen grabs a pawn. Didn't see that. Both knights are hit. Pressure on the queen side as well. King side. H2. This knight's still in the corner though. Open position. It's either queen side castle or the king stays here. He's going to have to queen side castle. Knight here is nearby. Uh, maybe losing castling privilege. Yeah. This rook may be stuck in this in this corner for a little bit. If white wants to land a check, he could do just that. He's doing it. And he's maybe just going to return. Oh, oh, very nice continuation. This is a problem, a serious problem. You could threaten mate, but white is hitting first. Ooh, checkmate in two. If queen to b4, I think he might throw in the towel. Yeah, he's giving up the queen. Okay, what kind of imbalance? We have two tricky knights. Is he going to keep this guy around? Land a check. Two knights versus a queen position. Two knights in a pawn versus a queen. Can he stay coordinated somehow? Going to rip the heart out? He's going to keep this pawn around. Okay, <laughs> this would be interesting. <laughs> if we could come back from this. These guys are pesky. And they're coordinated. Let's see what kind of magic he can work with these guys. <laughs> two knights and two pawns. It's actually not... Well, this pawn is going to fall any second. Oh, he's staying in the center. Here. Queen takes knight. You have to go here. Okay. Is the rook going to play anytime soon? There's no check here. <laughs> A repetition? <laughs> Uh, 22 seconds he can't take the queen there's a pin he's going after this guy if you step over you're asking for these checks okay he's going to save the pawn no he's setting up this and then this winning the rook 
Queen takes pawn. Check. Here. Check. Win the rook. Another check. He wants this check. He might throw this pawn up. Yeah, there aren't any great checks. Okay, there was a check there. He's saving the B pawn. 14 seconds. <laughs> One moment away from a check. Get out of the line of fire, king. It's dangerous on C4. Oh. Clamp down in this structure. He's just, he's crawling into a ball. These knights are going to do something dangerous. I'm telling you right now, <laughs> he's going to get to c4. Knight on c5. Watch out. Rook takes pawn. The queen is hit. Here? Do you have to go rook here? No, knight here. Hits the queen. There's checks. There's forks. Look out. The queen is hit again. There's other checks on d2. <laughs> oh, man. I check. The rook is gone. If he wants that, does he want more? He wants more. Is it mate? It might be might he have to give the queen. Queen here. He was gonna get mate. Oh man. Oh, it's so early. What a stunning game. Two knights, two pawns are greater than a queen. <laughs> wow. TGK 59. Wild game. <laughs> okay. The slippery one is next. Get ready. Oh man. What a game. Two and a half hours more of this. Wow, this is too much fun. I might have to cut it short. <laughs> okay. Oh, how many times have we seen this, right? How, you know, the queen is the queen's mobility is addressed very early. Just get a couple pawns out of the queen's way. She wants to see the world. Okay, no takes here. This guy's now unprotected after that move. Whew. Alrighty. Let's slow down here. Catch my breath. What do we have going on? Serious attention on C4. I like this last move. Okay, white is getting out of the pin and placing black in a pin. Okay. What's this door here? More pressure on C4. Black is prepared to take with the knight for sure. He's going to dive into this square? Maybe not for sure. Oh, he would drop this pawn. <laughs> okay, so bishop takes pawn. There's a cost with knight takes. Generally, you would do that, but it is dropping a pawn. He's in the tank, the slippery penguin. He's taking with the bishop, throwing a punch, making sure this pawn doesn't fall. This is an important pawn, to be sure. No A pawn. This guy is passed. Okay, we got to get some more development in here. Get the knight out. He's out and about. Queen has to move before this guy, or are you going to do something like that? This guy needs to play. Okay, bishop c3. Maybe you don't even castle. What about throwing the a pawn up there? We're working on the knight first. Maybe knight here. And knight here kicked. You can't go forward. I don't think. Takes, takes. Is there anything great happening against the queen? We might be seeing something like that. Is he really going to go backwards? No, he's going forwards. He can make use of a5. Pressure against the bishop. Plenty of defense. Forgetting that there is this battery there. Okay, bishop pair for team white. Offering a queen exchange as well. Just a couple moves out from connecting rooks if we have a queenless endgame. Excuse me, a queenless endgame. And it's this guy here that is the X Factor bishop, let's say. Ready to castle next. Queenside castles? No. Controlling the knight first, I guess. All right, the knight is eyeing up e6. There'll be some nice jumping points. Roundabout way to get to f4. Just a moment out now. Going to castle team black. Ooh, queen short on squares? A little bit. Ooh, trapped? Queen trapped? Trapped the queen. That penguin. <laughs> oh, not so fast. Let's see what happens. Here. <laughs> Look at this. Boom. Check. Here. Discovery. And in the end, you get a fork. How are you seeing this so fast? 
Okay, there should still be a way though, right? <laughs> the queen has a square. Oh, queen here. Queen takes knight. Bishop here? <laughs> what, a st what a stunning move, right? Okay, 20, to 20 seconds to 40. Giving up the queen. Wouldn't be the first time. Isn't that just a full queen though? No, it's still it's still dangerous on d7. Under 10 seconds for the penguin to figure it out. Okay, he's queenside castle. This is defended now. I think. Is he going to get two minor pieces for the queen? We've been there before. <laughs> just a game just a game ago. Okay, he's going to find a way to um get a couple pieces for the queen. <laughs> Let's see what he decides on. <laughs> okay. Knight takes d7. He's going to free the queen. Okay. So he's getting a pawn for a piece. Still has the bishop pair. And both players will be living off of the increment from here. The pin is on board. He's taking it. The queen takes. You take twice here. Light square weaknesses in black's camp. A nice spot for the rook. Controls some weaknesses over near the king and puts pressure right on the heart. Ooh, I missed that move. Queen to c8. Queen takes pawn check. Bishop can't move. There is a pin. Under five, under ten each. Consolidating move. Oh, he's taking advantage of the pin. I think it is Gunner. He has to do something here. Yeah, there's nothing here. Penguin has consolidated. Yep. No, oh, you're going to take, why did he allow that? He's giving him a chance to consolidate now. The bishop is a very good defender. And a take like this, I think this is a draw. Uh, it could be a loss if Penguin's not careful. He's trying to, oh, <laughs> this might be a loss. This king, yeah, he's going to grab these two. All right, this pawn, he's going to have two pass pawns. Okay, now, okay, it is a draw. <laughs> it is a draw. Rook pawn is not going to be enough. Draw on board. Wow. <laughs> Look how he caused some chaos there, right? It just looked like, oh, the queen's going to be trapped. But no, in comes a dangerous knight. What was that? He's in pause mode for right now. That knight, what was it? Knight c5. Right here. Your queen's trapped. Nope, knight c5, and then a huge think. He's in pause mode. Maybe a very quick bathroom break. All right, let's have a look at the standings very quick here. 240 are in there. This is what your top page is looking like. He's still in pause mode. What an awesome game. Really tough to follow there in the middle game. Page one, page two, what's it looking like? Night King is not on the front page yet. Baba Ramdev, Eric Rosen, Eddie Marsala. Is he in there yet? He's still in pause mode. Okay. Maybe we could check out the Slippery Penguin while we wait. Oh, he berserked. So keep in mind if you berserk, I was saying this before the tournament began. When you berserk, your time is cut in half. And since you're playing with increment, you lose the increment. So Penguin has 42 seconds to win the game. No increment. And this guy has... A minute 15 and he still gains a second when you make a move. Okay, is the doctor back? The doctor is still in pause mode. Let's see how this one plays out. If pawn takes knight, that knight would fall. Okay. Nice light square control. Better bishop for a penguin. And I guess black is gearing up for d5. Looking for a5. 
Okay, D5 on board. I'm going to cut away if the doctor's playing. He's not playing. He's not in there yet. Breaking down the king side here. Black's king's position. He could take and plant a pawn here. Well, he's doing some useful moves. Tucking the king in? No, not quite. Maybe king up and rook over here. There we go. He can break like this as well. Where's the king going? I don't know if... Uh, yeah, no, black can't castle. He's stuck right here. Is he still in pause? He's still in pause mode. You logged in? Under 30. Bud has increment. Team black. King is running where? Nobody knows. Pawn takes, queen takes. Can you get away with this? Okay, check. Now at least there's a check if the rook does something exciting. King's trying to duck. What about the queen swinging over here? Looking at a7. Exchange. Oh, that's a blunder. Rook takes rook. He missed that. There, he was on that. 13 seconds without increment. Okay. Mate threat next. This, this square is covered. Yeah, just exchanging. Check, check. And you don't want to get to a point where he could pre-move out. And I think uh, we're at that point. Yeah, it's going to be mate very soon. 6.8 is just way too much for a penguin. That's mate. Okay. Um, and the doctor is back in a game. What did we miss? Two moves. Perfect timing. Okay, so. The D4 and E4, a quick queen exchange? Not quite. This is the number one. No, it's not number one, number two. The doctor is in sixth. He's playing against the number two. Okay, things opened up very fast here. Open C file. Queens will remain in tension. Each side wants the other to take their queen. Okay. So that the rook can be improved on the recapture. Where's the knight going? Better spot than there. No other legal move. Okay, kingside castles for each. Fairly symmetrical. I like that this pawn is advanced, though. Has a support point now if he jumps into a5. It's on the edge, but ex exerts some nice pressure on the queen side. His queen may be eyeing up this square at some point. If that guy goes elsewhere. Okay, check. Winning the queen was there. Controlling the knight now. I don't like these knights. The white knights are better positioned, for sure, this guy. And now there's a new square for this knight on c5. Yeah, he's getting pushed around. h5, h6, breaking down the king side structure is a possibility. Knight to c5, making a bishop move. I don't think we'll be taking here. This would just improve the knight. What else is he maybe considering? Bishop d2 it is. Okay, now white needs to be prepared to take like this. Okay, needs some support. Has to take with the queen if pawn takes pawn. There are a couple checks, but neither of them are good. No checks against the white king in this position. Okay, knight is challenged. Get this rook out of here. Yes. Open file. And this rook can't do similar. So easily, at least. Well, maybe, maybe, because of this pressure here. Queen takes. Knight takes, and then there's bishop here. So I was maybe considering that first. He's taking with the knight. So what's the story here? He's ready to take like this and then that, and divert the bishop away? Or divert the queen away from defending here? Bishop takes pawn, knight takes bishop. Pawn takes, knight takes check. Queen takes, queen takes bishop. So that's why you can't take here. <sighs> wow. There's a serious problem going on over here, by the way. Still wasn't there because of knight takes, bishop with check, and the bishop is there covering d3. Wow. Okay, is it a threat yet? No, it's still not a threat. Bishop is there covering it. N There's a threat now against this guy. Maybe a battery here. Maybe first h5. 
B5. What an annoying pawn. You just won a pawn. How to consolidate. Queen remains in a good position. This isn't the healthiest of pawns. It's a pass pawn. It's a center pawn. But it's still kind of weak for as long as it's sitting on this third rank. 15 seconds to 40. And you get the bishop. Knight d5 it is. So getting more than that. This is threatening mate. Okay. Somewhere where you're defending the bishop. Consolidate, consolidate. Threaten mate? No, it's not quite mate, but you're threatening f7. Yeah, completely defensive. The queen is defending. What is the queen not defending? Okay, black is going after what's not defended. Meanwhile, piling away against all second, call it seventh rank pawns. They're all going to fall. Mm, going to watch out for some battery. Nice move, nice move. Just getting off of the back rank. And here comes this pawn. Continues to march. Everything is guarded. Yeah, interfered with the queen defending f7. This is collapsing. We're going to have a resigner. A resigner it is. And where do we stand? All right, rook takes, queen takes, mate. No other great moves. Okay, I don't want, I want to be, I want to be here. And I want to be here. So this is where we stand. The doctor has 20. Still waiting for a game. 25 is in first. TGK 59. Okay, another opponent. Love you and you love me. FM opponent. Opening stage. Doesn't look too bad from the regular. Regular chess. Yeah. Big fight over d4 at the moment. Is he going to be able to sneak that in? Knight will go here. Okay, queen stepping over. What does this feel like? It feels like uh, Roy Lopez. With the queens slightly misplaced. Yeah. And shoot for this. Maybe challenge the bishop. If this, that's not really a big problem. <laughs> the bishop's already there. He's, he's giving up the bishop pair pretty easily. Taking out a big defender of this point. He's going to try and circle in there. Get ready for the F-pawn. Position's ready to crack open. The queen will probably go to this natural square, D8. F5 nearby also watches over H4. H, uh, F5 right now? Oh, it's just dropping a pawn. A5 is a goner. Take with the pawn. Secure this square. If bishop takes. And also doesn't give white time to take on A7. Knight is secure. Okay, we're playing with an extra pawn here. Team black. Up a B pawn. It's passed, but very far back. X factor bishop. Not yet contributing. Really just a Mr. Defender for right now. For the king. Oh, and no, it is contributing. Excuse me. It is contributing. He's giving up the exchange. Blasting open the king's side now. Pinpointing f3. h3 as well. Ooh, one of these are going to fall, right? He's going with the in-betweener. King here, you could take here with check and then recapture. So he's just getting the material back. But it is a strong knight. Three pawns versus five, but nah, doesn't feel. Nah, this knight is very strong. Still has some work to do, Team Black. Even though he's up two pawns, this knight is enormous. And this rook is very active. The queen is guarding the sensitive points in White's camp. This knight cannot be removed. How do you make some progress here? Stopping this for the moment. It's prepped now. B2 is pinpointed. B7 is defended. Probably the best square for the rook is F7. Maybe the king is best placed on G7. Something like this, an improvement. This is under fire. Back the bishop up. Gotta watch out for a check. How to defend this? Bishop F8 it is. 102. 
to 109. Who pressure here, but it's defended. King's ready to step over. You want to get out of these knight checks. I think the king belongs here, but there's going to be pins too. The rook is really well placed on g3. This rook is unprotected, a knight move, and there's a punch. Queen is hit, deflecting, trying to deflect the queen from this point. You don't want this exchange. This pawn is much more valuable than b5. Queen d3 it is. If here, the knight can take. Okay, bishop eyeing up f4, dislodging the rook from a strong post. May try for this stuff. I still think the king wants to be here. Okay, going for a rook exchange. If the rooks and queens are off, the king won't be in any trouble, and black will find it much easier to uh, kind of sneak the king over here and escort the pawn to victory lane. We have some checks now. Let's see. Queen maybe ready to go here. Ooh, is he getting a pawn back? He is getting a pawn back. There isn't a move that defends both of these points. If you get the queen here, can't do that though. I saw that so fast. I could give up the B pawn and then play here and get one of these two, and there's nothing you can do. 54 seconds for the doctor, under 10 for Team White. Once this pawn is gone, this knight is going to have a tough time. So checks. He's going to try to pick up another pawn with check if possible. Um, he's getting out of a pin for starters. This bishop defends the checks. Backdoor checks. He's going to give some more checks, gain some time. You could take this pawn. There is no knight move with check. White is in a pin. Gets out. Go here. There's a check. It's guarded. And yeah, now this knight is fiend keto. That's a that's not a good sign. Yeah, it's pawn races. And that's gonna do it. No knight here. Okay, throws in the towel. The FM goes down. Tough fight. Twenty six, twenty four, twenty four, twenty four. Knight king is in there. The doctor has twenty two. Four back from first. Okay. TGK59. Okay. Next opponent, another FM. Let's see what we have here. Two knights in the corner, two bishops. Okay, so central play. One of these two are going to move. I think this one. Get the knight behind. One of these two. Oh, none of the above. Staying flexible? Okay, now now this guy needs to get going. No, he's going for a fiend keto, call it. It's already a fiend keto bishop. So what needs to happen in order to castle kingside? This guy needs to move. This guy needs to move. And then you can castle. You don't need to move this guy. I still think this pawn wants to be here before this, but it could be a little bit annoying, right? That bishop eyeing up c4. Maybe... Maybe white is waiting for a move like this. And once there's a blindfold over the bishop and it's not seeing c4, then c4 is in there. So he's making some useful moves in the meantime. A big think for Team Black. Really big think. What's he considering? Moving a knight. He's moving a knight out of the corner. Same story for the knights. Knight to d2. Okay, so still prepping this. Okay, there's a there's a punch thrown here. One or two with the pawn. Probably two. You have enough support over e4 with two minor pieces. Two it is. Bishop's eyes stay opened. Light square bishop exchange. Okay. They want to go here? No, just take. I thought maybe there and then maybe even take with the pawn. Pawn or knight. Okay. Strong pawn presence for team white. And now it is converted into some space. Pawn duo. Pawn on d5. Where does it go? It doesn't really have a great square. No a5. b4. You're going to get kicked. This is excellent for white. A bishop move. Kingside castles. Here. Bishop here. Yeah, a bishop on this square. And kingside castles nearby. Queen c3 also nearby, forming a nice battery. 
This is a sensitive point. Yep, you could take. And now there's no castles kingside. This is a lot of information to give White. Now, how do you save these two? Allowing a fork, really? Ah, how slick. Knight e3, queen z3. <laughs> he has it all figured out. Doesn't miss a trick. Oh, man. What's the story with this? He's trying to get at the king. He's trying to clog up the queen side. Yeah. What a cool pawn sack. Here, the queen here, and there's going to be difficulties defending the dark squares. E file is going to be ripped open. 23 seconds. Whoa. E4 right away. No queen c3. Let's open up the E file. Black still needs a couple of moves. Let's open it up. Black needs to move the queen before queenside castles. It's opened up. There's going to be a very serious pin with the queen. And now rook takes pawn. This knight's going to fall with check. There is no connecting. This is watched over. You could hit the queen. Does she have anything exciting to do? No. You could offer a queen exchange, but you win the knight. This is a goner. The king is stuck in the center. Less than three. Oh, boy. Get ready. We're going to have uh, something exciting. Where's the flashy moves? Knight takes with check king here. There's a pressure. There's pressure against g3. Under a minute for the doctor. Follow up. You'd like to just go here. I think this is nearby. He's going to jump in without calculating. No. He's on here. That seemed, that seemed fun. Okay, black resigned. 25 mover? Yes, 25 mover. And that jumps him up to third place. Still two hours and change to go. 28, 28, 26 is where the doctor stands. And yeah, a couple other 26s. Look at the top page. Only four separating the first and the front page. J.S. Martinez, next opponent. Okay, what do we have here? What do we start with? Yes. Okay, pawn up, tuck the knight behind. There's pressure here. I imagine you defend that somehow. How do you want to do it? More pressure here. Okay, maybe this, maybe that. Two knights out. I like this move. Get that queen some air. Going to go queen side. I think he's going to go queen side. Get, get that queen some air. He's going to go here at some point. At some point. There we go. G5. Give the queen some air. Let the bishop maybe go here one day. King is cozy over here. At some point this. Maybe some more development first. Also, queen guards this square. So there is no queen side castles for white. Important detail. Yeah, white was also maybe looking to go here. Shoo the queen away and then queenside castle. So this interferes with this. This developing move interferes with white completing development. Okay, trying to give the knight a kick. He's going to grab some space here and then a follow-up knight here. Looking at these weak squares. Or this one weak square, b6. This guy needs to play. He's going to strike here. This opens up the bishop to see the knight. No, rook lift. Okay, it feels like white in, is in a way already castled with this move. The rook is contributing. I think this is a cozy home for the king. The rooks are not connected, though. That could be a problem. Also, tactically vulnerable, maybe the rook on a4. The rook is hit. Can you take here first? He is taking there first. He's winning some material. Is he going to be okay on the dark squares? Extremely sensitive. Guess who's not around to defend? Kingside committed bishop. B6. You really want the, the bishop out of the way so the queen could get to A7. Knight here. It's going to be tough to defend. Is he, is he prepared to run over here? Give, give up the exchange? No. Queen activity? I think queen right here. Get the queen over here. Queen d2 to b4. Pressure on the knight. Keeps pressure on the pawn. This is a nice link. Knight c4. There is a check in the air. Two checks. 
Oh, so fast. And even see that the queen had that lateral movement after the knight moves. Pawn takes, queen takes knight. So fast. There's some checks here. Grab the light square bishop. Yeah, black definitely in the driver's seat here. He's going after the dark square bishop. Knight here, you could take. Just take the queen and then run away. No, because in the end, there's this move. Ah, very nice. Queen check, and then you're getting the queen. That'll do it. That was a pretty quick one. 22 moves. J.S. Martinez goes down, and with that, the doctor jumps into first. 30 with fire. Two hours, four minutes to go. Okay. These games are wild. Okay, who do we have here? R, R stand 23. Fide Master. Let's see. Are we going to have a mover? Yes. I like this move. Knight here. Give the queen some air. Is there a problem with the knight jumping here? Any quick strikes? No. C5 it is. Tuck the knight in be behind that pawn. Pawn duo. There is this check. It's easily blocked though, right? No ensuing pressure against this pinned piece. In a fianchetto. And with the pawn trio, what do you want to do with this? Okay, maybe grab the bishop pair early on. See what white gives us. Okay, nothing. This pawn rather be on a6 than a7. Maybe there's some ensuing b5 kind of justify this move. Put it, put it to use. Okay, position is opening up. This guy needs some work. I want to go one or two. Imagine here, I almost feel like black maybe doesn't have to castle like me. Oh yeah, you're not getting this move in. Forget about that. There's two minor pieces there. Kingside castle. Let's work on this guy. He's out and about. He's going to still take a step. Maybe drift over towards the king side. No, he's looking for a central expansion. Probably should hit it right in the center right now before it's too late. C4, okay, for the moment, preventing E5, there's a pin. Still do this, yeah. May not want to go here now. Maybe knight to H4, kicking the bishop away. Sneak the queen over here. No, why not do it with a punch and then drift over here? The knight is unprotected. There we go. This guy needs some work. Now these squares are weakened. Will this bishop's eyes open up? He's going for a dark square bishop exchange, playing, uh, you know, trying to eliminate the bad bishop for a good bishop. Now, if only this knight could get here in a blink. Oh, there's pressure here. Was that a that was a mistake there? No, 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 no. You take you take with the knight, and then the bishop's eyes are watching this. What else is he considering? Maybe taking here first. Would he much rather the knight here or here? I think it's an improvement if you're taking here. The knight is two steps away from getting to d4. One minute. I think this is the move, no? Why is that move not being played? I must be missing something. It's logged in. Okay, knight takes e5. Let's see. Not sure what else was being considered there. Oh, maybe the other knight. No, no, because bishop takes, there would have been a skewer. Okay, anyhow. Here and then here. Push, you could take. This is really sensitive now. What was once a very bad piece is now a best piece in the corner pocket. Yep, f4 may also be nearby. Oh, uh, what am I talking about? Queen here. There's queen here as well. This would have to be met with f3. Seems like it's defending, shutting down the diagonal for the moment. And this knight is not unprotected. Okay, rook takes. Queen here. Ah, uh, bishop f3. <laughs> oh, so slick, not even allowing this f3 resource. So queen here, now it takes, and then knight on f3 is brutal. And this knight is way out there in left field. Right field. 
<laughs> okay. Um, what do we do? Bishop takes and then queen here. Seems like a nice defense. You definitely need some security over f3. Right here right now will have to be met with f3 at some point. f4 on board. Okay, maybe this rook's eyes are opened up to f3. Okay, rook takes, knight takes around the queen. He's getting some material. Knight here to here. Look at the difference with the knights. Can he pick up this pawn? Is there a mating idea if the king steps up? I don't think it's there. Okay, he's in a pin. There is this check. Mate and two threat. Queen f3, knight h3. Watch out. Don't improve your knight. Check and then mate. Queen come back to defend to one of these two. Two seconds. Stops queen f3. There's this check. Oh, there's also this is a mate. Or that. <laughs> you have your choice. Queen, corner pocket for checkmate. Knight there was looking sweet as well. Okay, you had your pick. <laughs> Two cool checkmates to finish that one off. <laughs> you only needed a bishop on that diagonal and the knight on h3. Okay, queen has some air. It's looking like the king's going to be committed on the king's side after this start. And where do we go from here? Um, Two pawns out, looking for this knight. On f3 very soon. Control this little setup. No, knight g3 first. He's going to go here too. This pawn probably here. These two bishops need to move in order to castle kingside. Okay. More air for the queen. Are you seeing the patterns? Some new squares for the queen conservative approach with both e pawns square for the bishop there's not yet enough support for this the queen the pawn the knight are there and there's only two supporters these two for e5 so another step here maybe first this and then that or maybe he'll be all right with going here and then kicking the knight away no first clamp down on this structure and, oh, 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 he's eyeing up c6. This is serious. He was, he was doing this in the last game. He's eyeing it up again. Okay. Yeah, this is very good. Having this one pawn restricted these two. Nice positive there. Okay, where does the knight go? In exchange, we have a check. Fiend Keto the Knight are going castled. Uncastled it is. Get the king castled. Something direct here. It's this really strong piece. How do you dislodge that bishop? This knight can't go too far. He's, he's looking to dislodge the knight. Give the knight a kick and then skewer. What happens after captures? He's still going there. Position is cracked open. Now the queen has to watch this and this. There's pressure here. Pressure here. Yeah, it's a tiny investment to have the position opened up in the center. Uncastled and more pressure here. Nice rook lift. It's talking about uh, the queen having some air, but what about the rook with these advances? Very nice rook lift. You could grab this pawn at any point. The rook, the knight, I'm thinking the knight. You're already, re already ready to castle. King side, that is. You have this pawn right now. Well, the king will. The king could sneak away over here, but in the end, these these guys, yeah, it seems like they're just forever targets. It's backward pawn on a7. It's not fun. Move him, and then a7 falls. He's hanging on to this guy. Hmm. Okay. Are we gonna have this move? Bishop to d4. Pointing at g7. 44 seconds. Oh, these... Oh, they had some great games in the last arena. Really great games. Let's see. How to get at the Black King. Eyeing up this move? 
It's in investing another pawn. Knight here, maybe take first. Okay, he's eyeing up the dark squares. Under 30 for Team Black. He's closing it. Knight takes bishop is a threat now. Dark squares, dark squares, dark squares. Put the bishop here, knight there. Queen takes pawn, defends. Okay, oh, get the queen over here somehow. Drop the rook. Can you get in on the dark squares? Some air for the king first. King on h2, I still think the queen wants to kind of zigzag her way all the way over there. The king's going to be lured out. They were doing, I, I tell you what, there was a game like this in the last tournament that they played. Is this a killer shot? You have to take the rook. What's going to happen? Rook takes, queen takes, and then, oh, queen blocks. Yeah, it is gone. Queen blocks, you take the rook at the end. You have to take the rook. Bishop blocks, you take the bishop, and queen blocks, you take the rook. Dark square weaknesses. Wow. Very nice. Material, not nearly as big a factor as bishop mobility in opposite color bishop positions. 38 with fire, 34. Boss in second. J.S. Martinez, next opponent. Not too bad of a setup. I imagine this guy will be here and will be looking at a very, some kind of a accelerated English or Catalan. I don't know. C4 will be in there. And maybe even this. There's time for a block if this knight moves. It's not anything bad. Are you going to grab some space, take, a, take away a key square from the knight? Support it. None of the above. Development. B5 now. So there is no C6 for the knight. So what's this guy going to do? Okay. Symmetrical here with the center pawn. Some space for white. This is the big difference right here. What the A and B pawns are doing. And right now A6 is nearby. The bishop can be flushed off of this diagonal, but white is going to keep this tension, keep open the option to maybe take and then enter black's camp. Black is never really in a position to take like this. This pawn will likely fall in those cases, so keep this tension for a while. And if knight takes this and then put a rook right here, some exchange sacrifice, get a piece here. Pretty sure this is one of one of the things his eye is looking at right now. The c6 square. Just go right in there. Not yet. After first a capture, just dive in. Nope. Pressure on g or a d6. Some consolidating moves. King to g2. The structure is frozen. Okay, I don't know about jumping in here next. Yeah, still going for it, even though it has opened up a little bit on the king side. So on a capture, I imagine you take with this pawn. Connected passer. There is some pin, one of these two bishops, and now this pawn has pressure on it. The threat is that, and then this. That is stopped with rook on the seventh. There's a pin here, maybe eyeing up f4. The queen's ready to sneak into d5. No, the queen is ready to grab a rook. J.S. <laughs> Martinez missed that one, and so did I. Yep. Wow. Just like that, a rook is a goner. Has he lost a game? He hasn't lost a game. The only one to... Yeah, be a speed bump is the Slippery Penguin, who is in second. And also has fire. 42, 39 is the Penguin. Just under two hours to go. One hour, 50 minutes. Okay, that queen was wicked in that game. Still possible to go undefeated. That would be something. I, I'm... I'm not sure how many games he lost in the in the last titled arena when they did the 960. Um, 
I was thinking night here and then the other night here. What am I what am I talking about? It's gonna take some work in order to get the other night here. Alrighty. Uh what do we have? This knight will go here and probably there next. This bishop most likely here. Functions well with the queen. Okay, not going here. I'm not keeping open one of these two. Okay. Maybe the bishop on this square. Ah, the bishop is very good on f3, especially with b3 in there, weakening a dark square. So now this is serious. Maybe forming a battery. Queen here, now you're ready to castle kingside. Very nice organization of the pieces. In the end, I do not like this knight on g3. Needs some work. Black's knight is much better, I feel in this half open position. This is a way to pry open the position some more. Get the pawn to a4, taking with the pawn, that's interesting. Looking for some space. e4 and then knight on e5. I don't think this, you're giving up a really big square. Maybe now, however, at some point this advance could be in there. Okay, e4 it is. Queen's off. Black stands better in this ending. Strong knight. More space. Exchange one rook, but I imagine wants to keep another rook on board. Get the king here. And to do something over on the king side. Or is that even necessary? I, I think the king still wants to be over here. I think this knight is so strong it must be challenged. This f-pawn needs to get rolling. f3, f4. King is, is better over here. So you're going to take or just maintain the structure. He's going to try and maintain the structure. So he's going to go on the defensive. He'll be able to kick the rook away if it tries to get active. So here, 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 and then the rook has to go away. So it'd be short-lived if it went to the seventh rank. So this is secure. One day black would love to target this point, d3, and he's opening up a file for the rook now. It's going to have an active rook versus a passive rook. Well, it looks active, but there are no great entry points. Nice square for the knight, and maybe even targeting this. A lot of pieces are now converging on these squares. There's a check in the air. Watch out. Get to the seventh, the second. Not sure what that's doing. Okay, maybe prepping b5 at some point. Oh, he's just dropping that pawn. He's forgetting that. He's getting this guy back? Yeah, looks like he's getting that guy back. No, not quite. Not quite, because there are tricks. Check, and then the rook, rook is one. Try to target this guy. We're going to have some kind of perpetual attack or check against this bishop. Combination of the two. Consolidating to go after this pawn. And in the meantime, do we have some tricks? There is a check now that there is this pin. I throw in a check. There's a check for white as well. What's the follow-up here? A check. Hitting the bishop, and now can you take? Yes. This pawn will run. There is no getting behind. And so after the bishop moves, this pawn will fall. Hang on, though. You could still take. There's no. Look at how quick. There's no good rook move that's going to win the material. I don't care where you go. There's no great square for this discovered check. <laughs> Everything is protected. You can't get at these guys. This is a base point. It's covered. Double check, king here. Now what? Maybe if only this pawn was here. Double check and then mate. Not quite, though. This pawn's a little fast. Yeah. There's a fork. How do you stop this pawn? Stop this pawn and it is clean. Okay. Well, he's grabbing another pawn, so maybe he could just afford to give up the knight for the pawn. Is that what he's going to go for? Knight here. Got a check here, here. Oh, he's just advancing. Okay, so three pawns versus the bishop. Can he win this? We're going to get moving. This guy's falling. This king has some work to do. It should be a draw. 
you go one step, the bishop is going to take. And you really don't want to go, okay, now you could go one step at least. King here, there's bishop takes pawn. You'd be going into a pin. 38 seconds. Rook here to defend. Get away. Maybe throw in a check. No, pressure on the bishop. Still can't go here. Okay, now walking into another discovery, but there's no good discoveries. Second time now. Advancing again. King b4 nearby. Under 4, under 3, under 2, under 2.2. Now here you win a pawn with the discovered check. Can you take here and be winning? Is he calculating that? Here, 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 check. Yeah. King here? No, that's not working. It's king on d3 really fast. Pressure on the bishop and then push through. He's getting it. He's getting the bishop. Is this a win though? I don't think it is a win. Not a lot of time though. The king is cut off. Yeah. I think white has the draw. 5.3. Have increment. Stay right here, Rook. If Rook here, you could exchange and it's a draw. Yep, it's going to be a draw. Okay, second draw of the tournament for Carlson. Still undefeated. Oh, Penguin slipped up. 44, 39, 38, 37, 36. The money area. Top five. Get some dough. All right. Hello. It's Dimitri, next opponent, international master, starting with a crazy H-pawn advance. Wanted to grab a tempo against that knight. Okay. Air for the queen and bishop and knight, I feel. This knight will be under control, I think, with the E6-pawn. Right now. No. This pawn will be responsible for controlling the knight. The e-pawn wanted to do something else. Control this bishop's influence on the dark squares. Okay. Makes sense. Bishop on f6. And where do we go from here? Knight has a very nice square here. And the center is collapsing fast, it seems. Or a lot of pressure is placed on black's position. Really fast, and he's gonna have to go without castling or underdeveloped. No, going here, there's this. Queen is also defending the bishop, so can we get a knight here? How to do that? Dark square bishop exchange? Nearby. No, I don't know how serious that would really be. The bishop is controlling g4. I didn't even see that h4 is attacked. Yeah, as soon as king h2. Okay. The king can be lured out. Maybe queen here is a problem. Maybe. Ooh, yeah. Queen on f4. It's giving up the rook. Queen f2. Knight here takes. Knight takes h4. Knight moves h3. Gonna have that. He's just going to pick up the bishop first. Now he's taking on e4, threatening mate. Knight takes pawn. Rook takes. And then we have knight or b bishop to g3 and rook h3, just a clearance move. Knight takes, rook takes, rook here. Check and then checkmate. It's really close to checkmate if this rook is here. It's defended. g2, that is. I didn't even see that this rook was hanging. After bishop takes pawn there. Okay, now he's getting the piece back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this is the imbalance. Bishop in two pawns for the rook. 50 seconds. 53 now for white. Getting at f7. Where does the queen go? He's taking the knight first. And then queen to d4. Wants a central square. Wants this. Oh, rook take. Look at how slick. Rook takes pawn. Bishop takes pawn. And then queen here is mate. <laughs> it's still there. Bishop takes pawn and then mate. Do it. Oh, there's queen here. Trading queens. 
He's still going for it. Yeah, you have to play that. Otherwise, it's mate. Okay, so we still have... Okay, it's plus one. Three pawns and a knight for a rook. Now he's getting a pawn back. Imbalanced. Still. These knights, what are they doing? Has either knight moved yet? Was this the starting position? Can I check real quick? It is. <laughs> okay, I went away for a second and knight dropped. Knight and a bishop for a rook. There is a passer. On C7, 40 seconds to 30. Pressure on G2. Okay, this knight is defending here. Important. Uh, the bishop wants to be here. Yes, the bishop here, and then the knight could do whatever it wants. If you get this pawn, things are going to look pretty good. Okay, first a check. Is there a checkmate nearby? It's close. It's really close. Uh, here drops this. Can the king weasel around? Okay, he's defending the knight. It's going into a pin. Here, there's a check, and then here, and the rook falls. It's, okay, here right away, there's already this. Are we close to mate? There's going to be a mate. King here, there's checkmate, and king there, checkmate. Mate no matter what. Wow, ooh, and a very fast pairing quickly, 46, 41, 40. Okay, next opponent, the wizard. The wizard. 98. Okay. Air for the queen. At some point, maybe a4. Is now that time? Nope. Okay. This is hit. It's defended now. The bishop's eyes are opened. And where do we go from here? Play in the center. Okay. Is this... It's kind of turning out to be a little bit of a waste of time, is it not? This maneuver, helping white develop some. So, pawn exchanges are likely welcome. Ah, uh, okay. This is permitting the knight to rest on the c4 square. And go unchallenged for a little bit. So, a5. It is opening up. This bishop needs to move before kingside castles. Black is ready to kingside castle. What to do, what to do, what to do. Taking with the pawn first. Why? What's the story here? Follow-up check on a1. King here. Is that really a big problem? He's going to scoop this pawn up with the bishop? Not sure why he needed to initiate that exchange first instead of grabbing here. Must be missing something. Maybe, maybe, maybe the bishop coming out there? Not quite seeing it. I didn't see the great downfall with taking on b4 there. Okay, there is a fork. Now uncastled, team black. Is he up some material? He's up a pawn. I think he's getting b4. Very good square for the knight on f5. I think this is a number one priority, though. Grab that b4 pawn. Castle, and then everybody's happy. This knight is offset by the knight. Time to castle. Go on castled. There's this. If the light, dark sword bishop wasn't around, I think king f2 instead of castles, but no reason not to castle here. And because of this capture, this knight could stay here indefinitely. Can only be can only be challenged, let's say, by the black knights. Okay. No pins on the G file, no checks by the bishop. Some defense now of C2. Most active piece is challenged. Exchange now. Probably would not mind more exchanges. Ooh, walks right into a fork. That's painful. A 21 mover. The wizard goes down. The doctor remains flawless. 48 with fire. 42, 41, 40. An hour and a half to go. Okay. GM opponent. Let's see what we get here. Two knights in the corner. 
c4, knight c3 nearby. Uh, what more? Well, this could be a problem. It's pressure against this pawn. What's flexible? So what's maybe non-committal? It's going with this, maybe this, knight c2. Tucking the knights behind the pawn. So these guys are free to move. Now, what do we do with these guys? One step, bishop here. Black is ready for this move. Okay, he's opening up this bishop's eyes. Takes the knight and he's going to win a pawn. He's going pawn hunting with this sequence. Removing a key defender of d5. So the knight's going to have to find a new square if you take here. It's going to be kicked. No, nope. can tolerate the knight. e3. Knight takes, bishop takes. White is up a pawn. This is defended. A check first. Oh, very nice in-betweener. He's uncastled. If I'm going to move my knight, I'm going to make sure you're uncastled first. This is a great inconvenience for black, to be sure. A lot of pieces on board. All pieces still on board. All white's pieces on board. Expand, open up the center. Yes, why not? Let's get at the king. Open lines, clear the pawns. This pawn is pinned, maybe. May still be able to do this. Do you have pressure on the knight? I think this is nearby, with a piece jumping in there next. Not yet. Sensible. Much cozier in the corner. Pressure against b6. Queen d2 and a push. Some defense. Minute 18 for black. Okay, d5 straight away. Series of exchanges, b6 would fall in the end. A new square for the knight. Maybe this knight. Welcome a, a rook exchange. No, he's looking at the e6 square right now. Was he considering taking with the knight or the queen? Hmm. Okay, rook takes. Jump into e6. Not quite. There is a pin here. Queen's unprotected. Take the queen, flush the knight away. Watch out for back ranks. Black doesn't have that problem. Under 40. Okay, this is the extra pawn that white has. It's not really a contributor just yet. Some pressure. C6. How to move forward here for black. Kick the knight away. G5. Knight is challenged. This bishop has a responsibility. There's this pin. Knight can't move just yet. D4 is a big square. You know, the dark squares are sensitive in white's camp. This is the big one. F4. There is no knight takes. The pin is still there. He's out of it. What kind of flight square do you want to make as white? I don't think... Any flight square just did. Okay, now the A pawn, this extra pawn, is finally contributing. It's a passer. It's dropping a pawn. Material is balanced. Connected passer for black, just a passer for white. This passer is blockaded. It's going to be able to get in, get in there. One more step. A6 has support. Okay, can this queen get activated? Here, do you make a flight square now? I still don't know what kind of flight square you would want. It's a tough call. Normally this, but this guy scares me. Queen has just improved greatly. D6. It's hitting a lot of squares. It's pawn falling. And he's taking the knight. Knight back on B4. Queen takes pawn. No, bishop takes bishop first. The bishop was hanging. Queen here. Gets the queens off. The queens, nope. Queens are not coming off. Queen b7, queen takes c5. Ah, this is this is winning. Can you exchange? Yeah, you're fast enough. 
No, 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 no. Queen takes, queen takes, knight takes, the pawn moves. The king doesn't take back right away. Two queens on the board, and this one's a goner. Knight takes, queen takes, six seconds, seven seconds. Where's the mate? There's the mate. Queen to f1. I almost thought I would need to be more specific what queen to f1 for mate. Queen f1 is mate. Carlson remains undefeated halfway through the tournament. 52 with fire. Wow. 52, 43, 42, Watneg, next opponent. This is probably the most entertaining opponent last tournament, this tournament right here. Um, they have some really wild games, multiple games where the kings are just running around, running for their lives. Okay. Treating it like a Sicilian. Some accelerated dragon. Imagine this pawn will go two at some point. Some more development? No, it's going one. Making me eat my words. Again. Okay, now we get some more development in. Knight on e6 is instructive. Hmm. Very instructive. Ready to kingside castle. Wants to maybe jump here before doing something with the e pawn. There's not enough support for this just yet. Where do we go from here? Hmm. Here? Feels like a nothing move. This is a nice follow-up, I think, for white. F4. Okay, some some slower move. Tiny improvement for the bishop so that when the knight moves, the king can move forward and recapture. Sure, there are other reasons, but that's just a quick one to note. This knight will be challenged very soon. It's not stable. Neither knight. One of these two can hit. Okay, he is going for this pawn advance. So is he gonna he's playing it as a gambit. Takes here, and if c4, he's prepared to challenge it with e6. <laughs> and then if d6 knight here, and I think eventually he'll be he'll be able to round up the pawn. He's trying to exchange dark or excuse me, light square bishops, weaken the white king position. Wow, is he throwing a piece? Trying to get at the king, open some lines, and giving some great weight, I would say, to the pawn on d4 that currently restricts this bishop. I think he'd like to have that pawn up there on b4. It really shuts the, the bishop down. So, breaking d4, very sensible. There's a new square for the knight. I think this one is definitely in White's favor. However, White has yet to win a game against Carlsen, so <laughs> there may be uh, that factoring in. You know, can I do it? I haven't yet. After six games, can I can I finally get that win in there? Is it possible? Okay. Black has something to bite at. On d3, not the greatest knight around. On g2. Avoids the rook exchange. Normally we'd go here. Wants to keep some material on. Nearby is knight e6. Maybe this, but the knight is always there. This is basically a nothing move. Dark square bishop's gone. The pawn up to a4. Doubling up on d3. This knight, yes, stopping knight c4, b5. Don't want to let the knight get there. Okay, ooh, very nice shot. Looking for a fork. Can take there. Yeah, we're getting some exchanges here. The queen has to go where? Oh, she can move forward and still be defending the knight. Yes, and this, this will be... This should definitely be a win. I don't know. I don't. I just don't see black coming back from this. These knights are just excellent now. I don't see it. Doubled up on the clock. Will he finally go down? 
He's in the tank. Okay, looking for this. Some more exchanges. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, this knight has a square. Okay, okay, okay. The rook's going to get active. He should, white should be able to neutralize all of this. It's making him work for it. It's call it even on the clock. No checks for black at the moment. There is a check for white. Don't go here for many reasons. <laughs> okay, is he trying to weave a mate? The bee pawn falls. Where'd he go, king? Oh boy, it's looking dangerous. It's looking very dangerous. What's with these king walks? I think half of their games are the king. The king's just running for their lives. Okay. <laughs> Watch out. Watch out. Tricky knights everywhere. Okay. Another check you have to take, otherwise it'll be made on F8. Yeah, this is this is going to be a king here, and there's checks. Yeah, that's going to do it. He resigned. The first loss for Carlson, woof, minus 49. <laughs> okay, it took over an hour and a half, but first loss, ooh, and the big one it is, 52, 51. Penguin right on his heels. Penguin has fire. Okay, next opponent, never enough. Not their first time playing. Alrighty, what do we have here? How often do we see this little setup? Take notes. It's a good setup. Okay, knight's ready to move. Queen is opposite the bishop. Also space for the queen. Alright, what's going here? One or two with this pawn. I'm thinking one. This square is very strong for white. May want to take it away. Preparing to castle kingside. Take with the rook. Kingside castles. Kingside castles it is. How, did this, how does this position open up? Oh, he's dropping. Uh, oh, what was, what was going on there? There was going to be an accident on e4? Yeah, but still. Two minor pieces for the rook? That might have been a mistake. Anyhow, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna turn back. <laughs> Last time I went back, I, a knight a knight fell. We can't let that happen again. Okay, d5 is prepped. D5 on board. Pawn takes, knight takes. This this rook wants to have his eyes opened. Major piece specific. End game coming up. Where black is better. This pawn is a target in the end. And try for d4 rook here. Huge pressure against d4. Yeah, nothing nothing happening here. Symmetrical on the king side. Entirely. Well, let's look elsewhere. Okay, trying to take advantage of the pin. C4 now. Okay. This pawn needs to be challenged. This, yeah, this there's going to be some problem here. Yeah, excellent rook, excellent rook defends the base point. Great security, great coordination. And now, constantly have to watch over this guy. Now he could slowly improve. Ah, b4 is under fire. Queen here. Still think the queen needs to be somewhere on the dark squares defending. Yeah, I may need to have the queens come off. No, nope, he's playing with the pawn. Once the queen's around, maybe the queen gets over here. Yeah, setting up a discovery. Watch out. Oh, he missed it. He had a blind spot there. Whoops. He was just thinking this was primarily defense against the rook move to a5. It happens. Okay. Whoa, the slippery one is in there. 55 with fire. 54, the doctor. Penguin is in a game. And the boss is nearby as well. This is far from a runaway, needless to say. Lanchester won. Okay. 
What do we have here? This is not unprotected. It's going to go with what kind of duo? This is hit. Defense. It's going to look for F4, I imagine. The queen wants some air. Mm, hang on. Is there something that can get here? Maybe a little bit too soon. No. It's not too soon. If there was a bishop here, it would maybe be too soon. Takes, takes, bishop there. I think in general you would want to take with the pawn and maintain the duo, but there is always this option if you wanted to keep the g-pawn there. Anyhow, how do we complete development? This is maybe something. You might want to go two with this pawn. Get it all the way up there. I think there's a little prize on b5. Clamp down on these two pawns. Do you do that now? No. Grabbing some space, not allowing black to strike at the center with f5, and there's some really nice control now. If ever a capture, the knight's going to love this square. Do you go two? I think you could go two. Oof. Serious problem now on c7. This is, this is not turning out very well, this opening stage for Team Black. After just five moves, I think this one's gone. Really superior position for white. Yeah, it's going uncastled now. Okay, challenging a strong knight. It's going to be reinforced. He's taking to underdevelop. Queenside castle. Oh, man, this bishop is having a really tough time. If this pawn gets here, well, you cannot allow that. Yeah, this bishop has no good moves. This is alpha zero stuff right here. <laughs> Quick trap the bishop. And uh, black's going to try to get there, but white says not so fast. I'll hit you with the fork. Yeah. <laughs> Space invaders everywhere. Tough day at the office for this guy. And this knight might be fiend kettled before you know it. And this bishop will be suffocated. Oh, God. <laughs> the minor pieces are having a tough time. Oh man, watch out for checks. Can't castle. You already can't castle. Yeah. This is rough. This was this is really rough. I don't know how you untangle. Is it even possible? Fiend Keto Knight? Dead knight if this pawn is protected. Queen here, pawn push. Uh, there's so many ways to do it. You could play it slow. This bishop is never playing. As soon as this knight goes here, b4 is there, and this knight is dead. This knight goes here, this is dead again. <laughs> Wherever this knight turns, it's just absolutely dead. b4, oh god, I feel really bad for that guy. <laughs> this knight, that is. The knight on b7's having a tough time. And still has a tough time. Mmm. Slow death is what it is. That's what we're staring at here. A slow death for Team Black. This king could uh, get some exercise, run over here, and then run back. And then uh, do something. Has all day is what I'm getting at. This is defended. This rook needs to play. No, needs is not the right word. Preventing c6 right now. This is the only active plan for black. I almost feel like you could go here and still be winning. It's that strong of a position. Defend the knight. This queen is basically boxed out too. Oof. Mm, he's setting up some tricks here. That's why the rook moved. Any knight move is throwing a punch now. King here. Queen here, just squeeze the life out of black. Where's the knight going? <laughs> I mean, knight d8, and then knight back to b7. That's just, that's just the situation black is in. Could exchange queens, go pawn hunting. Yeah, whether you're here or here, these pawns are going to embarrass you. That's just how it is. This is the rest of this. <laughs> That's the knight's life for the rest of the game. B7 or D8. And you get stared down by a pawn. Entry points. A push. Crunch. 
Okay, finally, a resigner. A 49 mover, but th that one was over, I think, before move 10, if I'm being honest. 56 with fire. Oh, the penguin again. Slipping up right when the doctor is nearby. Okay, the penguin is back just one. The doctor has fire. Hello, it's Dimitri. Again. How did that first game go? Oh, yeah, that was a pretty wild game. Okay, I already like white. What happened here? White. Three pawn moves and then says, I have space. And you're going to feel it. Bishop on g7. And the pieces just get tucked in behind the pawns. Queenside castles on board. The bishops are already playing. Maybe this and a rook up and over one day. Useful move. Maybe that and the rook lift. More space. Kick the knight away. Oh, this is this is shattered now, I think. No, not not quite, not quite. I was I was thinking you have to do this. Or when you play this, you'd have to go here, but that would be dropping d5. So he eliminates this and only then kicks. Now the knight is on the edge. This is secure. Space for white remains. You could go with this as well and work on crunching the bishop on g8. You would open up this bishop's eyes. What do you want? Queen here threatens the pawn. Sack or sneak the queen in? This is secure. Probably will maintain this structure. Control the dark square bishop in this case, the unopposed bishop. So a rook lift, possibly, or a pawn break, multi-purpose move. One of these two. Prepped. Okay, preparing to meet this with that. Okay, definitely emphasizing control over the dark squares with the pawns. You could slip by with this move. Or just keep it as is, do something else. This is useful. Queen c4 to a4, looking for mate. Maybe even getting this pawn up here first. What about queen a4 and then push? Or a4 first. How do you want to do it? Okay, g files opened up. Something might happen here. This and then that. So maybe a5, or excuse me, h5 by white. Yeah, so a square for the bishop. Threatening mate. Defended. Oh, while the queen is way over here, this pawn is basically already worth a bishop. Queen into b7 is eyed up. Uh, can you take, take, and then queen here? No, because rook takes, rook, uh, queen takes, queen here, queen there. You don't have to take, though. Oh, the follow-up, however, is knight here. Threatening mate. Oh, you do have to take that bishop. Knight here is... Yeah, I think it's just gone then. Yeah, if you if you have to allow a pawn here and you can't put pressure on it, let's see how black tries to put pressure on it. This is maybe the only way. I think you have to put immediate pressure on it. Bishop there. What? Buying time in what way? I don't... Uh, oh! Yeah, I don't know what bishop c4 was about. Yeah, the knight is still getting here in checkmate and two threat. You're not going to stop that. This bishop is cooked. Just like in the last game, notice how the pawns are doing a number on the enemy minor pieces. It's the second game in a row now. Okay, the doctor moves up a big four. The penguin goes down back-to-back -back games, 55 for the penguin. The boss is in there at 50. The doctor is not in a game, not in timeout either. Still no game. Front page right here. Are we going to get a game? Are we there yet? Okay, we have a game. Vova Chess. Their third time playing. Let's see. Is he going to get some more space in this game? Let's see how we get to that point. How does it come to be that one of these guys ends up just completely out of play? Okay. I don't think we're going to have that in this game. I don't see the black pawns being able to restrict any of the minor pieces. This is a nice 
pawn presence in the center for white. Black is ready to challenge it one of two ways. First, some development. Where's this knight going? Ah, they're going to follow in each other's footsteps. Maybe first with f5, Dutch-like. f5 and only then knight f6. I really think we'll be seeing f5. Now, white can try to challenge e4. This knight will move and then f3 may not be a bad idea. Okay, g3. Do you have time for this? I think you do. Or do you want to just play within this cozy structure? Keep this guy home or not? I think that's maybe one of the things he's weighing. Knight here or f5? f5 it is. f5 and then knight f6. Strong control over e4. What more do you want? Two miners upon. You won't be seeing e4 anytime soon by white. Here, kingside castle next. He could take this square away from the knights. This bishop is already developed. I don't think you, I don't know that you want to move this pawn too fast. Castles. This queen probably wants to go somewhere else. Why am I saying not to, well, there could be some pressure here. Here and then this. White has something to bite out. Maybe gunning for this. Oh, wow. Didn't really see that move. Didn't consider that move. It's committal. Grabs a little bit more space. Doesn't even want that knight eyeing up a square. Get out of there. Don't even look at e6, he says. He's looking at e6, and then next he's ready to secure an outpost. But it's just flushed away. And now, I guess we can say a minority attack on the queen side with this pawn advance. It's not a threat. Sometimes forget that that knight on e4 is, you know, defending that g5 advance. Dark square bishop's gun. This knight. Wait, wasn't I saying early on that I don't think uh, the black pawns will be able to restrict a minor piece? We have that going on right here. This knight is having a tough day all of a sudden. Knight on h2 versus knight on e4. Black is better here. Space. Better knight. Has a weak pawn, black. Black is also doubled up on the clock. Not easily kicked either. g3 will fall. Prepping a4 at some point. Ooh! Nice shot by white. Undermining the knight on e4. Takes, this guy falls. Well, he missed that. He's going to try to make something happen on the g file. Nice move. He's going for it. Okay. It's down upon. Major piece specific. One key point for white to watch over. F2. White is better for sure. Are there any accidents that can happen on this square? Maybe. I don't see it, though. Yeah, queens are exchanged. Yeah. Oh, oh! he probably wanted to be able to take with the piece. Now this is no longer a backward pawn. Okay, this is, um, this is going to be difficult to win. I like... Oh, he's getting to the file. This, this, these two pawns restrict these three. I don't know that white is better anymore. Oh, he's, he's able to challenge... It's a one king and pawn ending? I don't know, here, here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Who knows who's winning that race? Oh, this rook is so slick. Where's the king going to go? There's no great progress over here, and I think the white rook is always able to offset the black rook. He's going to have to try to come over here? Oh, he's dropping a pawn. Oh, this is no good. Wait, you see how fast these pawns go. And this rook. Oh, boy. This pawn is flying. There's no stopping this pawn. Check. Oh. He's ready to promote. 
This should not be fast enough. Get behind the pawns. Uh, he's going to try to pick up this one. King back, the king improves and is in the spot to track these pawns down. Yeah. Okay. He's got this one. <laughs> that Having to capture like that with the pawn really clogged things up, huh? Yeah, the rooks were just inactive on that recapture and uh, the space that black had started to show. And black didn't have to babysit the pawn on d6 anymore once there was a pawn, a white pawn on d5. Okay. Another game. Quick look. 64 with fire. 57, 52, 50, 50. Top 5. The money area. Pro move. 2,500. Next opponent. GM. F5. Bishop's eyes are opened. Eyeing up this advance. Maybe some support first? No. Both knights on great squares first. It's going to underdevelop. Try to work on these squares now. Maybe this. Maybe that. Maybe a knight move. No H. Or excuse me, A5. I'd like to get this in. Can white be greedy? Maybe he does this first and then that. He's okay with giving that pawn up. Let's see how greedy white wants to be. Maybe he didn't see it. Maybe he didn't want to go for it. <laughs> One of the two. Oh, okay. Knight e4 is nearby. Uh, maybe a little bit too greedy to do that. Okay. F3 is stopping knight e4, but big question. Where is this, where is this king going to live? Where is the cozy home for the king? Be challenged one way or the other. Bishop on d4. He's nearby is c5. If black can get the dark square bishop, he's still going to go for that. Look at how fast. I love that. Takes, takes. You take my knight, I take your rook. And he's a goner. And in this open position, this guy is an absolute beast on h8. Doesn't even have to move. He's already a beast. Okay, what's this guy doing? What does white to ha have to look forward to here? What's white going to look forward to here? Knight on c3. You lose a pawn if you take the knight. Is it force loss of a pawn? Not quite. A rook here, I guess, defends this. The rook is hit. Pawn is hit. He's winning a pawn. Seems like you grab that in... Is there any... Downside with grabbing that pawn. Maybe this. Ah. <laughs> Just as the move is played. He wants to maybe get over here. Uh, maybe maybe uh, this pawn is a target in the end. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, the rook coming over here. I guess you could come over and give check, but he doesn't even want to allow any kind of counterplay. So, queen is hit. You take the knight. And survive on the light squares, win a pawn, yeah, and why not? Why not do that? You could take the rook and then win the queen. I think you'd want more though. Keep the queens on if you can. A thinker for pro move right now. Okay, trying to give mate. B7, just under a minute for Carlson. Castle? No. D5? Oh, watch out. Rook takes. Queen check. There goes the rook with check. Ooh. Oh, did he see that one? Is he going to take here? No. He is taking here. Takes, promote, and then go back? Oh, he's on the... Oh, my God. Now you have to give up the two rooks for the queen. <laughs> I love that continuation. Okay, don't go backwards ever. Rook takes pawn is necessary. <laughs> okay, here, here. Well, we're going to have mates soon, right? Check and then checkmate. How many moves do you need? One, two. He's going for it. He's going to go here. Oh, there's no stopping it. <laughs> Okay, I got a little too excited there. <laughs> oh, there's no stopping it. Oh, man, I love that. <laughs> Killer pigs. Watch out for the two rooks on the second rank. 
They're hungry for the king in that game. TGK59, next opponent. Okay, ooh, this guy was in first early on, probably about uh, the first half hour he was up there. He has dropped back into page two land. Okay. Oh, man. You want to go two with this guy? No. Pawn duo first. Maybe this. Maybe this. Put the knight here. Do I want to play with this pawn? Maybe. I'm going to say no in this case. Not to f5. Too many, too many pieces watching over that square to create a hole on e5. He could be prepping this. Yeah, there's there's some... If he gets this in, that next step is establishing a pawn maybe on this square. He's getting some more development in first. Okay, knight here, knight here. Get the queen somewhere else, huh? Or maybe not. If takes after recapture, then the queen is there to support e5 when it's in. Okay, white has grabbed some space on the on the king side of the board. This side. And if kicked, the knight's ready to jump in and win the piece. Uh, win the bishop, I should say. Bishop pair. Doesn't have to take it just yet. That bishop wasn't going anywhere. He does, anyhow. Nice move. Given a move, white would be advancing a little bit. A game of inches, not super dynamic just yet. It could be cracked open at any moment. I think both will maintain these two pawns right here. I don't think either side benefits by initiating the exchange. So I'm looking at this advance for white at some point. Maybe an improvement for white. Okay, e4 is hitting right now, and I imagine the knight's going to jump in the center. Open position, you want to keep these guys forward. In the center, if possible, now some space for black. This is a good defender for the king. I would say a, a very nice multi-purpose move, multi-purpose piece. Defense of the king and activity on this diagonal, but not anymore. Okay, this may be a move. Queen is watching over that. This is secure. Nothing really happening over on the king side. Direction turning towards the king side now. Strongest piece for black is being challenged. Uh, what is he considering? Okay. Save the bishop. Give up the pawn and try and do something on the light square. So this is the extra. The C pawn is the extra pawn for white in this position. This is under fire. Queen h3 or a push, or excuse me, queen a3. Defense. What more is the queen doing? Looking for this stuff. I don't know about that. Queen would be trapped. Short on squares. I don't know if that was really the greatest idea, but I guess if you did this, there would be bishop to b6. Okay. Strong piece. Bishop right here. How to get activated. This knight... We'll find activity here. I think, well, if you move the queen, then this pawn drops. Tough spot for Team Black. Down a pawn, and I think there's a clear plan to put the knight on b4. Black trying to interfere with this idea, I believe, seeing that the knight would be too strong on b4. What's the follow-up after the queen is here? It's a strong post, but it seems unconnected with any other black piece. And this pawn, uh, pawn here, the queen is... Running out of air. Could force the queens off after a5, queen, queen b4. Things are looking very good for team white. This is the more dangerous bishop. If it gets behind, maybe track down h4, f4. So giving up, what was that? He's, he's giving up the b pawn. He's going to try to do something active here with the bishops. Ah. This may be a way to do it. Takes, takes. It almost feels like black isn't down a... Well, yeah, he is down a pawn. Is he going to be there in time? Is he going to be there in time? He is there in time. Wow. The knight moves. This 
This may fall, and this is going to be a draw. If the king tries to come over here to assist with h3, I think it's just too slow because the king tracks down the f-pawn. He found a way to draw that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Man. What a hold. 55 minutes to go. It's not a runaway. The top, what, six? The top seven, none with fire. 70-62 is where we stand. 56, the penguin is eight back. Okay, what a start. E4. E4 and then F3. Oh, okay, just clearing this away to play with the D4. Normally, you know, you do this if there's pressure on E4. There wasn't any pressure on E4, so this was to support D4. That's the pawn duo white wanted. Some space for black. Here? Yeah, did something similar earlier. The queen was eventually here and then came back. Eventually put the knight on c3. Okay. Both of these squares are good. I think this one, though. This doesn't get in the way of the bishop. Maybe at some point c5 could be in there. Some dark square weaknesses. Probably put something on this square soon, huh? First knight here, huh? Okay. There's one good square for black right now. e5. Don't know that you want to try to control that because you give black something to bite at with h4. Weasel the bishop around, get the rook playing. The rook is playing, half open file. A little bit more space. There's two attackers here. You prepared to meet h3 with g3 or maybe even h3, h3 is met with g4. More aggressive with then bishop g3? No. Much more solid. Pawn on g3, controlling the knight. King probably wants to come back over here as an improvement. Or no, what am I... Why exactly that? I was thinking there's a bishop here. Wrong diagonal. Scratch that. You'd be running into a fork. Maybe one day the king would like to be on f2. Now this knight can be kicked. When, though? When is the best time? I think it is nearby. Oh no, here could be met with this, and then the knight slips into g4. If you're playing f4 and the knight ends up getting to g4, that's not uh, that's not something you want. So you could exchange and put the knight on d6. This is a weak square. You may look to circle in. Right now? Right now. I think white uh, can look forward to giving up the exchange. The knight can be maintained on this square. I think I think he's going to go for that. Is there some other way that this knight can move and defend d4? I think he's going to go for here and prepare to give up the exchange. Okay, now it's going to allow this knight to exist for a little bit. Knight takes pawn, no? Knight takes pawn, queen here. The knight has to go back. Okay, black is up a pawn, but position is open. The rooks are disconnected. And now looking for a pawn break. F5 nearby. Open up the position. Black is the one who's uncoordinated and more tactically vulnerable. Okay, F5 it is. Avoid the queen exchange if pawn takes. Queen takes. Be a little bit careful of this diagonal. Okay, black would love a queen exchange. Ooh. Okay, there goes a very valuable pawn. Huge thorn is exchanged and now the knights will be exchanged queen check there's block okay white stands better i believe because this pawn is soon to fall and the white queen is far more active now at some point one of these will turn weak with this h uh, a4 move but for the moment uh, yeah black seems to be defending okay eyeing up this stuff h7 in a push there's queen f6 and mate next these checks are just ducked king g1 and what are we doing from here the king preparing to run he's preparing to run rook here queen check is this winning some material rook have to come over here okay are there tricks rook takes pawn he's calculating he's calculating is it there 
It's there. It must be there. <laughs> I'm going to trust that it's there. Oh, man. Look at how quick. Queen there. And if you go back to these two, you drop the rook. Rook takes f6. Nice shot. Very nice. He's running for his life now. And there goes more material. I imagine a resigner right about here. Nope. He's going to play on a little bit more. This is too, too many pawns. Double up. And what's the simple way to do it? There it is. <laughs> Queen b5, mate. Move 43. Okay, 72. 64 with fire. Penguin. We're not getting many. I think we're getting that pairing next. He's not in a game. We're getting the one versus two. Oh, and especially right now, he just finished. This is a big one. Penguin wins. And Penguin would be in first. <laughs> Under 50. Okay, this is a big one. I'm getting, I'm getting like nervous. I'm getting nervous for uh, the Penguin here. <laughs> Don't be nervous, Penguin. Uh, I'm nervous for you. Okay, anyhow, a big moment for this tournament. Two hours, 11 minutes in, and it is not a runaway. Their first game was a draw okay some quick pawn play all pawn moves so far five moves in and some space for team white these knights will stand really well on the third rank i think black's minor pieces are going to suffer i think um do you want to stop that pawn from going any further or are you okay working with that he says I'm, i'll be okay okay Kingside castles. Does he want to just overprotect at this point right here? No, he just continues to push forward. And how to capture? Towards the center, trying to get in a check. He's just a move away from castling. Okay, so now this diagonal may be something. And also there's a majority created on the queen side. Two to one right here. Four to three, tipping in black's favor. But this one, this majority is in motion. And from here, offering a queen exchange. Oof. This knight is also in the queen's crosshairs. Queen exchange, yes or no to that. Knight takes pawn. Can you get away with that? What's the downside? Pawn takes, queen takes knight, bishop takes pawn, queen takes pawn, or queen takes knight. Yeah, he's able to crash through here. Unprotected knight on f5. Miss that? Did he miss that? Seems like white is winning a pawn. Can improve the knight, but it's uh, it's under control at the end by this guy. Knight takes knight, queen takes knight. And there's no way to trap the queen. Like bishop here, there is a square for the queen. Okay, knight f4. Interesting. Very interesting follow-up. Bishop is hit. Move the queen, defend the bishop, and get out of any discoveries against the queen. Okay, bishop e2. Still okay with any bishop move, huh? He's okay with this. He'll get this pawn and end up with two connected passers. Plenty of compensation. Also, this is under fire, but I imagine bishop c4 would be met with queen takes d7. Then these pawns are enormous. Under 30 for the penguin. Bishop takes a2. Queen takes e5. Trying to break open the king side now, Penguin. He's putting a dent in the structure, g2. Track down the dark square bishop. Knight is hit. Bishop pair for black. Queen is hit. Okay, we're going to get a bishop off. Queen here. You have to watch over this square. Bishop takes here, as otherwise there's a skewer. Or, excuse me, a pin. This is this pawn is annoying. White really wants this pawn. 
Don't want to allow queen h4 and then queen takes pawn. So eyeing up the back rank squares. How to consolidate. Queen here to here? King f1. It's king f1. This looked really good. Wow. Okay. He's relying on this knight to shield the king. Oh, man. This is looking a little scary for the king, no? I guess the knight has uh, these squares under control. Knight on light defending these dark squares. Ooh, we got some checks. We have a check, a checkmate. Mate in three threat. Less than two. What's the trick here? Queen takes bishop. And then there's queen checks. Queen check on e2. Under 30 for Carlson. He's thinking this one through. This doesn't really do anything. King steps up, may repeat one. He's just coming back, cutting off the communication. Oh, he dropped on time. Oh, a painful end for the penguin. Oh, man. He dropped on time. So rare. Okay. 74 with fire, a huge game. Wow. Wow. Okay. I didn't see that idea coming at all. This, I'll just move towards the center and put my knight on e4. Okay. Anyhow, 74 was fire. 69, 62. Penguin could have been up one point had he won that. Okay. Maybe one day we see d4. d4 right now. Doesn't need any more support. Pawn duo. And maybe next we see some space. Something that will restrict a bishop or a knight. Maybe both. Strong center. Now let's get the pieces right behind the pawns. A bishop here. Okay, there we go. Space. Multipurpose. This bishop is... Out of play. This knight is out of play just because of this one little pawn. Can you believe it? Black is going to suffer. It's just how it is. Space invader pawns. Right here is the big one. And maybe more nearby. Okay, get all the pieces playing. Both knights are playing. I think the action will follow on the king's side eventually. This is where black is strong. This is where black has some space. It's not out of the question to see a couple captures here in the knight c4. He is going for that. This is a huge square for the knight. Ah, the other knight as well. This one is very good. Yeah, hard to argue with the knight on e3. Okay. This bishop will act as a good defender of the king if necessary. If there's second rank pressure, these pawns have gone elsewhere. Elsewhere, More aggressive approach with these guys. Bishop f2. There is a knight f5. This knight is under control by the knight on c4. This guy is passed. This guy is passed. It's connected and passed. I don't see either one as a threat. White's prepared to double. And what next? If it becomes a bit more simplified, I think this queen is going to find it easier to get active. Get at the black position. Okay, we might be having that soon. Queen's going to be on a5. Not yet. Took with the bishop. He can look to get this pawn working. Okay, occupies the open file first. Challenges a strong knight. Good move. Where do you want to go, knight? Black has a very good square for this knight. Okay. And this pawn can't get rolling so easily. Offering an exchange, is this going to make it easier for this pawn to advance? 
Yeah, I was seeing that this knight is going to be excellent. Exerting pressure on f3, and then if somehow the queen could get here, it's something to shoot for. Will the queens be exchanged? Still 40 minutes to go. Okay, king f8. It's back on the clock, the doctor. Maybe this wasn't the wisest choice to go for the, uh, you know, granting the white pieces access to c4. Okay, queen is whipping around here to the king side. Black is up a pawn. Tough to get it rolling. This guy. Where are the tricks? How do you break down black structure further? I'm not sure what this does exactly. Maybe this at some point with then this to follow? That might be the way. G pawn falls. Yeah, there's no getting at the king. He's, th this is an excellent shield, the bishop on f2. Okay, now, now he's eyeing up c6. So on a capture, there's something more white can try to work with. You know, pawn on c6, get the queen right here. Feels like this bishop can fall any day. Unprotected, 22 seconds each. His pawn gets rolling. Yeah, he's going to dive right in. He's eyeing it up. Get the queen on d7. This queen is all in on an attack that is not there. There's no coordination. Ooh, or is there? Queen here to here. Killer combo. Oh, no, 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 no. Black is there first. Does he have to go for a perpetual? He has to go for a perpetual. Oh, he's, he's allowing this piece to fall, and he's going to use this knight as, no, this isn't working. He's getting mated. He went for too much. Black is winning. King here, it's mate. Queen here, and yeah. That one got away from Carlson. I think he... Yeah, I think he went for too much. Definitely went for too much there at the end. It's not registering that he... Okay, now the zero is showing. Okay, and another big game against the Penguin, who is five back, neither player now with fire. Penguin with white. Okay, yeah, that looked really good for Carlson, the early stage. Maybe, I, I don't know. Yeah, definitely went for too much at the very end. But that idea, again, to get the piece on C4, maybe maybe in the end not the, not the best way to show that space advantage was something. Okay, anyhow, where do we stand in this game? Working with an ideal pawn center. Hmm. Trying to scare the knight away. Will it be allowed? Knight c4, maybe. Okay, this is stopped. We have this. This was in the last game. He had he had the pawns like this. Some, uh... Does this have a name? This structure? I'm familiar with the core grip. Some kind of expanded court grip. <laughs> Center pawns are out there. All right, anyhow, b6. Some control over the knight. Best piece for white on f5. Maybe challenged like this. Yes, this knight wasn't a great piece at all. Under control. So he would take like this, or maybe even challenge the knight. I think challenge the knight. This could be a pretty nice recapture. Okay, an exchange of knight, taking the third ranked knight, you'll notice. Not this second ranked knight, and now playing in the center. This is sharpening fast. A big game to get back in there. Just five back, not much. It's not a runaway. 36 minutes to go. G4. How are we defending that? Is this nearby as well? Both sides can still castle. I imagine white will want to go in this direction. There's no pawn cover over here. This pawn may be vulnerable if white goes in this direction. So something to keep an eye on. But this bishop, 
is a nice piece. It's just staring at a couple pawns, but they're important pawns to watch over. The center pawn, for sure. F4 is a big square. Ooh. Okay, this knight will exist on F4 for at least a move. So he's going to try to make some magic happen. He is making some magic happen. G4, not just the threat of a pawn, but a skewer. Any great discoveries? I don't think so. You could afford to take here, right? And just duck. Yeah, the knight might jump in. Takes, rook takes. Okay, you win a pawn. Oh, very nice. Very nice find. Oh, what was wrong with... What was wrong with the knight here defending the pawn? Oh, there'd be a check and the queen would fall. Whoa. Okay, that was the problem. Nice resource to save a pawn, this little maneuver with the knight by the penguin. Black won a pawn. There was a discovery there. So once more, penguin is down a pawn, but has this thorn pawn in Black's camp. It was over here in the other game. Now there's one here. What's happening on the king side? It's pressure on the bishop. There's a nice jumping point here. Really solid bishop. Aggressive and defensive. Best piece, maybe, for white is this bishop right here. Uh, this knight might have uh, something to say about that too. Knight g5 is looking pretty serious. I think I like this position for, for white. He's winning the exchange. I didn't see that move. Maybe I don't like this position for white. What's the follow-up here? It's a little scary, no? Bishop there, huh? Bishop takes bishop and rook here, and there's no way to defend the seven, the second rank? Really? Would that be the follow-up? Must be missing something. This seemed like one out-of-the-blue move. Okay, now it is simplifying. Oh, the bishop is defended. I'm not even seeing that the bishop is defended by this pawn. I'm thinking that this is a white pawn still. It's not a white pawn. <laughs> Okay. I was thinking that this was a white pawn. Penguin goes down again. Those are some big losses. He's had his opportunities, a couple now, to fight back against the, the top dog here, the doctor. Watneg, next opponent. This was Carlson's... No, not Carlson's only loss. He lost against that NM, I think it was. Anyhow. Let us see what to do, what to do. Knight on e3. Pawn on c3. Or no. Bishop here first. Maybe a dark square bishop exchange. No, I think bishop c3, knight here would be played. Maybe you still go here. No, okay. So he's going to control the knight, the bishop, from getting into d4. Get some more development in. Something slow. Okay, has changed a little bit. If this is challenged, this duo gives up a big square on d5. Queen on c2, bishop on d2, queen c2. Queenside castle drops this, but it may it might be poison. b3 follow-up. Okay, what's black going to do? Maybe similar? Prepare to kingside castle? Yeah, it's looking like he wants to go kingside if he's going with this pawn. And I think white is prepared to go kingside now. Both players will probably go kingside right now. Right now or not? Yes. Kingside castles for both. Move 11. E4. Knight is pinned. F5. Thematic. Pawn sacrifice, clog up e5, and now break down the king side. This square cannot be made use of now by any of the black minor pieces. And we have e4 as a follow-up. This might be nearby. Okay, h6, h6, h6. It is covered. He may still jump in there. Yeah, he's picking up the bishop pair. This is looking excellent for Team White. 
killer bishop. There it seems like mating nets are maybe nearby. White pieces are swarming in. Bishop e4 nearby. G6 seems like it will collapse. And the queen, well, she does have some influence along that sixth rank, let's not forget. With a knight move, but where does that knight move? Can that knight move? Maybe. But there's there's nothing close to the king just yet. Mm. Takes, takes, takes. Bishop takes. No time to take on f6. Bishop would be hitting the queen. Um, what do we do then? Fifty seconds. Uh, <laughs> gotta do something here. Knight takes knight. Mm, I don't know about that move. Slide the queen over. Okay, he is going for this with the follow bishop e4. No. Why not bishop to e4? That seems strong. This this seems like an excellent piece. I guess oh, this is going to be difficult to defend. Also, bishop here is looking strong as well. Yeah, there's, there's mate threats nearby. We're just the win of a pawn. This is really close to some mate with the bishops scissoring in there under 30 for carlson bishop d bishop d5 as a start open file for the rook getting the queens off want to keep the queens on or just enter an end game enters an end game save the a pawn or is there something direct hmm oh rook takes you could take the knight and then go here leading to mate this pawn is poison He's dropping this rook. He missed that. He missed that his rook was hanging. He's trying for mate. Um. Okay, he's getting some material back, but yeah, that wasn't in, on purpose. Can he hold this one? What's the material count? It's a dark square bishop versus a rook. This guy's passed. <laughs> Sneaky. Pawn takes the bishop falls. He's going to try to advance this pawn here. Is he ready to bolt with this pawn? What's the story? Oh my god. He just won the rook. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> He's a wizard. <laughs> He's a wizard. There's a wizard in the tournament, Wizard98. Ah, oh, this is this is the world champion wizard. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's a silly town. Okay, Georg Meyer. Sorry about the sniffles. It happens. Okay, E5. E5 on board. <laughs> Oh man. I don't know how he how he pulls this stuff off. Okay. An immediate fight for the dark squares. What are these knights gonna do? Here, there, maybe here. I don't know about this knight. Okay. Georg Meyer wants the light square bishops off. He's he's playing with this positional idea. Get rid of my bad bishop. He's gonna he's gonna try to embarrass this guy one day. White is. He's gonna try to demonstrate this guy's a dummy on d8. Two pawns in this guy's way. This guy has clear sight of black pawns. And he's gonna put a knight here, I think. Black has to try and get this advance in. If this knight could get here, it's going to be excellent control for white. I like white's position. I like this pawn better than this one, but I like overall white's position better. 
knight here and then maybe f4. If there's a capture, the knight circles into d5. Black may scoot over here and look for f5. White can castle. Black can castle after this knight has moved. A big think by Georg Meyer. Okay, light square control. Watches over the f5 break. Black has some squares to work with. d4 and f4. If white wants control over these squares, the knight has to move and e3 needs to be in there. Weakest square in black's camp is d5. Knight f5. Pawn takes if knight takes, and maybe something on the g file, some space in the meantime for Carlson on the queen side. The structure does a good job controlling both minor pieces. Knight on d3, bishop in the corner. Strongest piece for white on f5. Not easily kicked. I don't know that it even has to budge if challenged. There are maybe some piece sacrifices. I don't know that white wants to castle even. Can white still castle and castle queenside? Yeah, this pawn is reminding white that that could be a problem. Although this bishop, I think, is an excellent defender. I like how white is playing this so far. He's taking with the queen now because there are knight moves with the discovery. Queenside castle? Okay. Maybe, did this rook already move? Okay, anyhow, king g2. That's where he's going. And now f5 is supporting rook e4. Yeah, he's losing control now. He's losing control. Rook g4. e4 first. Looking to take and then take on d2. The rook is challenged. Rook takes with... Or rook g4 with check. No time to take on d5 with check. King on f2. He's taking. The queen could enter. What's this bishop doing? This bishop remains the better minor piece, but this rook is very active. Restricts the rook to defense of h4, under 40 for Carlson, looking to peel the f-file open. Now rook g3, rook d3, wow. Queen here, another kick, a maybe push right now and then here. Phew, man, he's just toast all of a sudden. <laughs> Queen here, rook here, wow. And I think it opened up a little bit too soon, and uh, the white rooks seemed to be out of play. They weren't able to adapt to that open position. Okay. Where do we stand, by the way? 82 with fire, 71, 67, 11 back, penguin. Okay, hello, it's Dimitri again. Third game between these two. What was the last one? Oh, yeah, the last one was painful. Yeah, the last one was a squeeze. Got to block with the bishop, otherwise you go uncastled. We'll be taking with the rook, so now kingside castle or stay there. No queenside castle. Ah, uh, this isn't out of the question. I like white's position. These guys are killers. Setting up a discovery. White's now ready to castle kingside. What's this queen going to do? Time for this? What is the story here? Wow, is this really... Yeah, this is, this is really going to get the piece back. Oh, there's trouble at the end, though. Rook is hit. Pawn is hit. Yeah, he's up the exchange. Queen is cornered. That'll be resolved soon. Flight square, queen h2. Uh, he doesn't care about the queen. <laughs> just, just still working on uh, opening up some files for the rooks. That's all. Okay, h4. Doesn't care about securing g4. He wants a couple squares for the queen. Unless it was a mouse slip. Okay, the queen is now activated. And there's a fly squ flight square. Rook here. Uh, check, rook there, 
Stay on a dark square. The knight is in a pin. Move the queen, hit a pawn. The knight is hit. H7 is hit. There's a problem. Big problem. Knight here. There's check there. This might be a resigner. Grab a pawn. Why not? More checks, more checks, rook falls. These two are not going to weave any mate against the king. We might have a resigner right now. Nope. Mate in two, though. That'll do it. Goes down 82 now with fire. Penguins having a tough stretch here. Losing six out of the last seven. Mm. Okay, we have the wizard versus wizard 98. <laughs> All right, what do we do here as a start? Bishop's eyes are opened. How do we control this guy? Okay, b6, c5 structure. f6 or not. Maybe more aggressive. He snips the knight, damages the structure. So, where do we go from here? What piece do you want to control? This guy. The unopposed light square bishop. Two squares. Knight here. Hmm. Seems like this guy's going to have some activity, huh? I don't know if you can... I don't think it's a wise choice to put another pawn on a light square. You can't do this. So the light square bishop's going to have some nice mobility, it feels, in this game. I don't think you ever really control this guy. He's okay with damaged f-pawns, similar structure. White wants to kill the structure here on the king side can do that right on g3 and there's no queenside castles does white still have the option to castle yes we see that right now the queen is once more just like in the last game stuck in the corner has no legal moves rook h4 it's gonna fall <laughs> And this queen, watch, the queen's maybe never going to move and just assist this pawn. It's soon to be passed. All right, is there a way to save the pawn? That's out. Rook takes pawn. H5, H4, H3. Okay, oh, this knight is pinned now. There is no take. King over stops the queen from getting there. Uh, queen here, king there. Get the king in the corner. Ooh, nice move. Nice move. You, he, he could have captured. I think rook takes was there because rook takes knight, pawn takes. The queen was defending the rook. I don't know. Maybe he uh, wants more? Wants something else? Bishop is hit. Knight c4 can be kicked. Mm, it's nice activity for the queen. Maybe the queen gets active now. Queen c3, knight a4. Under a minute for Carlson. 17 minutes to go in the tournament. Queen is hit. Ah, nice. Knight d5, knight c3. Too strong. Knight on c3 would be. Gives up the exchange. Gets a pawn. Knight and pawn versus a rook. This is bound to fall. He's going to have some good squares for the knight. I want the knight here, I think. Pawn takes queen here. Nope. Just picks up the h6 pawn. f5 is gone. I think you want this move in so the king could hide. Okay. Where does the queen go? There is a check. It's offering a queen exchange. It's taking with the pawn. Taking with the knight, the rook has some activity. Here? Yeah, this is covered. Maybe before king here, this. I think the king would like to be on b3. Okay, keeping a, a pawn on board. It's looking for some activity. Oh, this is very scary for black. A couple knight checks. The king ducks both. This is under fire. Does the bishop have to go all the way back? Can you afford to drop this pawn? Probably not. 40 seconds for Carlson. Two steps away. Can't let it get here. Okay. How does the knight get here? Here we go. 
It's going to hit a lot. Oh, uh, it's pushing through. He's pushing through. I think the Wizard 98 is going to get this one. Perfect coordination. This is very easy to play as white. Perfect coordination. Nothing to target. And this one's going down. Yeah. Uh, the king's going to get a little active. Can he save this one? Wow. It's going after this one now. It's defense. Step up. Improve. You know, white should have this. White really should have this. Block and then take here. You might wait, might end up seeing uh, the knight knight and bishop versus king mate. Yeah, that's a very nice regrouping. It's not even going to get to that point. Excellent post for the bishop. So forget about knight versus bishop mate. I'm surprised he's not resigning really at this point. Well, no, maybe not. The wizard has yet to put a dent in uh, the doctor here. It's 5-0 score, so. Show me, Carlson says, show me that you can win. I don't believe you. Yet. <laughs> Two steps away. Two steps away. go with this guy and then here if okay yeah not the cleanest technique I don't think but it will be enough just stay coordinated and you're golden there's no stalemate tricks are there bishop here <laughs> oh man Okay, are we there yet? Two here, here, and then here. Okay, finally. Black resigned. Oh, there was also this. <laughs> okay, anyhow, 86. He goes down for only the third time in the tournament. 13 minutes to go, 86, 76. Okay, Penguin will probably be in some berserk mode. Mm, I don't know about his next game, though. Okay, I thought we were going to get that pairing. J.S. Martinez versus the Doctor. Let's see if Penguin could get a win in there. It's tough to berserk and win. Losing uh, half your time in the increment is a bit much. Okay. Important square to control, F5. They try for h4, especially now that the king is committed so early. Yeah. Flushed back or forward? He's probably going to go forward. No. He had some jumping points. No. Here to here. Knight into this square. Even as a pawn sacrifice, you get this open file. Maybe that knight drops in there. Giving up this light square bishop. This guy increases in value. This guy increases in value. With uh, the h-pawn. Gonzo. Okay. Light square pressure. Simple? No. Aggressive. D5. Striking at the light squares immediately. Here gives up a big square. You might want to kick this knight away. With b5. No. D4 and then knight D5. Queenside castle prepped. Yeah, white's already anticipating that. Giving up a pawn though, and giving up giving up C3. Yeah, I don't I don't think he uh I don't think that that was the best choice there. This is a big square. There's no compensation for the pawn. It's a huge outpost square. Knight is hit now. It's cut off. Probably jump in. This is ooh, this is a threat as well. No, you don't want to jump in. This is a threat to win the queen. 
can't do this. This is a really nice move. It's defending against the, the fork and defending the knight. Okay, White will be looking for something on the king's side. This this seems to be well under control. Knight g4 now. Rook is hit. Not too many safe squares for the rook. These knights are controlling a lot. F5. Prepare to give up the exchange. Bishop here. I don't know how far you want to go with that bishop. There's still a responsibility on F6. So here, here, there's this fork at the end. Okay, gives up the exchange. How about you castle? Does he have that option to castle? Okay, he does. He wants to go without castles. He would drop this pawn, maybe. I think he still had the option to castle. Anyhow, there is a pin and a passer. Oh, this guy's flying. Pawn takes, king takes. They're coordinated. More exchanges nearby. 52nd mark. Knight is hit. Drops this guy. However, check here. Check is dangerous for black. Oh, well, we're going to see how dangerous. Oh, he doesn't have to take the pawn. <laughs> okay. Didn't see that one coming. So I guess this pawn's going to fly. Is that the plan? Takes, takes, rook takes, and watch out. This is covered. Important detail. What are we gonna have here? Oh, it's not it's not fast enough. Having too he, this is too slow because of check and then here. So he has to try for some perpetual. I guess he's gonna have to go for perpetual. Block. Okay. What's the story here? <laughs> rook takes rook, there's queen takes knight. <laughs> then queen takes pawn, this knight is pinned. So sneaky. How many of you wanted to take the rook? <laughs> Raise your hand. Oh, there's queen takes knight. <laughs> okay, he's... D oh, okay. Fork nearby. He's dropping a pawn. This pawn still lives, though. Down on the clock a little bit, this pawn could fall in time pressure. This pawn could become passed. Um, he's trying to shoo the knight away and then promote. Give him a kick. Take here, check, and then here. And he's going hunting. Can the knight stop this pawn? They hate stopping this pawn. They can't stop this pawn. <laughs> Knights hate past rook pawns. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know how he does it. He's a magician. 88, no fire, 78 penguin. 88, 78, 75. Seven minutes to go. It seems like it is locked. Only a couple more games to go. It'll be a fight for second, third place. Not first, I don't think. Winner Oleg. Fide Master. Okay, best by test. How do we follow up? Knight on f3. And where will this guy go? Okay, playing in the center. Pawn takes, knight takes, and then this bishop can come out. f3 or f4. That's the way. f3 right now? Yes, bishop can see. Do we once more have this? No, not quite. There's pressure against the knight. C3, queen d2. I like queen d2. Unnecessary to make this kind of weakness on the queen side. Okay, so playing within this nice structure, you can't do better than knight e3, can you? Beautiful square on e3. Dark square. Won't be challenged by this guy. This bishop is a struggling piece. Queen exchange, so still struggles. This structure negates the knight. Exchange rooks. Advance the a-pawn? No. Queenside castle, what can the rook do? What about this? And then that. 
here and then that. Light square weaknesses, provoking light square weaknesses. Seems like it. Okay, so isn't this winning now? This rook is way too active. These guys are still, uh, yeah, this is a clean pawn. I'm not sure. Just consolidate, flush the knight away, and the pieces spring to life. It's a big pawn. These guys are now isolated. Rook d5 seems like a nice follow-up, tracking down the a pawn and waiting to see how fast this guy goes. That a pawn is a runner. Under 50. Kick the knight. Give a check here. Challenge the knight. Go after the weak pawns. Another pawn is going to fall. It's not even a clear way to get the rook active. Here gives up this. It is resignable. Down two pawns. No counterplay. 30 second mark. Four minutes to go in the tournament. Yep. The old rook up and over. It's not going to cut it. There's a pin. And it's going to lose a piece. King here. Bishop takes knight. Oh, he's defending like that. Well. A piece will fall. Oh, that's mate. <laughs> I was going to say you could win the bishop. Go after the king. Okay, under four. 90 with fire. Penguin has 78. Watnag has 76. With fire. Penguin is berserking the doctor who is not berserking back. <laughs> he goes for a pawn. A quick pawn grab. Greedy. This can be, uh, you know, there's a big downside with that pawn grab sometimes in these Fisher random games. You lose some time, right? Black is able to develop with tempo, so can the position be cracked open soon? This would be impressive. Okay, yeah, Black, Black just resigns here. <laughs> okay he's gonna try his luck with some other player <laughs> with two minutes to go dimitri next opponent it's still a big fight for second these two and who knows maybe the boss is in berserk mode okay anyhow final game most likely two and change we're gonna see what the final standings are okay can the penguin hang on to second it's locked first place Let us see. On some space with tempo. Oh, he's, he's, he's just winning a piece. I didn't see that. He wants more than space. He wants a piece. A seven move kill. Back to tournament. He might hit the 100 mark. Two minutes to go. The standings are still, I think, the same. Jasugi 99. I think one of Carlson's losses is maybe going to take second. Fantastic result. Is he in pause mode? He's not in pause mode. Um, Maybe the pairings have been closed? That could also be the case. No. We have this one here. In all likelihood, the final game of this Leech S titled Arena March 2019. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Grabs a quick pawn. Now I think the standings are going to change a little bit. Uh, this is still, you know, they're already in a game. Those second, third, fourth place guys. I think it's going to change a little bit. Anyhow, black is up a pawn. Doesn't have the greatest knights. It's behind in development. Ooh, he's going hunting for more pawns. <laughs> he swipes the h2 pawn. He did that against Penguin. And what else? He grabbed an h pawn against Penguin. Okay, establishing some strong point in the center that is immediately challenged. This is a strong white pawn. 
Black is up two pawns, but the white pieces are very active. This bishop is very good. Knight on f6 is pretty good. And he checks. There's one check. Not a good one. 17, 15 seconds in the tournament. Looking for some trades. Welcoming a queen exchange. May end up losing a pawn. He has a pawn to give back, though. He wants to keep the queens on. He's still offering up this pawn. Okay, this can be a little bit scary now. I think this is a best piece for white. How do you get the king safe? Ah, that's how. <laughs> Stop this, and you have a square for the king. That makes a lot of sense now that I see it. Rook here threatens that. Might be a very annoying move to meet, right? Because you want this and then here. Rook b3, setting this up. Annoying move. Yeah, this is an annoying move. What do you do? What do you do? You can't control this. You move the king. You got to move the queen. Move the queen. Knight here, king here. Queen isn't seeing the knight. <laughs> king here. Look at this little zigzag. It's going to run away. Here and then here. Not right now. Oh, nice. Oh, no, 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 no. You could take the knight because there's a pin. You're getting the queen back. What's the material count? Black is still up material. He's going to get a pawn. One, two, three, four, five, up a pawn. I'm forgetting you could still look over here. <laughs> okay, black is up a pawn, up a second pawn, and will be consolidating very soon. Yes, very soon. Bishop here, everything is wonderful. And now it should be squeaky clean. Look at that. Perfect coordination. Throw the rook behind the pawn and get ready to roll. This rook has to go on the defensive. Bishop takes pawn is there. Pawn bolts. It was there before the king move. This works as well. Passive versus active rook. Material plus for Carlson. White resigns. And with that, the final standings. Ooh! Jasugi, 99, National Master, took second. Wow! What a result! 98 in first. Dr. Nichterstein, Magnus Carlsen, 98. Jasugi, 99, with a 2375 performance. Fantastic! 80, 78, 76, 75. These are the five who walk away with some cash. 1,250, 125, 75, and 50. Wow. What a tournament. Let's see all the pages. See who competed and who entered and didn't want to play a game. Night King. I don't think we saw a single game between the Doctor and Night King. They had a, a few in there last tournament. Not this time, though. That's page two, page three. Let me go back to page one for a second. That uh, early game against former players. Did former player compete in the whole tournament? It's a grandmaster who, yeah, there he is, who really enjoys playing the uh, the 960. All right. Let's see everybody else. 262, it says, but how many actually played some games? Let's find out. Okay. We are almost there. Yeah, not too many games right around this point. Yes, and I'm not going to go any further. It seems like 199 ended up competing and zeros, zero games for the rest. So plenty of people entered and didn't play for whatever the reason. 
Okay, performance 2666 for the doctor. 2375 and 2406. Penguin did uh 26% berserk. Yeah. And 83% win rate for first, 74 for Jasugi 99, and Penguin had a 60% win rate. 36 games, 34, 42. Yeah, it makes sense if you're berserking some of those games. Okay, to the 199 of you. Good games all. Wow, fantastic performance.